Johnson, <laughs> Damien Smith, Isla Loness, uh, and Carla Battisti. Um, the last two there, my brilliant producers. Up next is James Well Unleashed. And let me remind you that tomorrow, I've got my show. Uh, we will have Julia Samuel, well-known grief psychotherapist, because it's grief awareness uh, time. And with Christmas coming up, it's a really challenging time for many people. Also, we'll have our faith panel. And that's always interesting to get the mind, the body and the soul working. So uh, do join me tomorrow. In the meantime, have a lovely evening. And I will leave you with uh, Mr. James Whale. See you tomorrow. This is Talk TV. For the news that matters, for the opinions that matter, for the stories that matter, find me, Vanessa Feltz, every weekday at 4 pm, only on Talk, on TV, on radio, online, and on your smart speaker. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online, or on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi Sunak the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideologies? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas possible, a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. Goodness, that was the Vatican on the phone. They're saying that we've got to watch. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, Ben Lockname, Pete Barnes, and of course, Father Calvin Robinson and the woke rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> OK, welcome oh. to the programme. See that? I've got it right off the start. Nothing rude. Right on there. Very, very unusual. Uh, very good evening. Welcome to James Well Unleashed with Ash tonight uh, until 10 o'clock. Now, this is the only TV and radio show that is absolutely live. And glad to see they've got decent music to get us going. We've got loads oh, of uh, guests 
on the show. I would on the show tonight. Uh, but what we want more than anything else is to be able to dip into our phone calls and get you on the air. If you've never done it before, and to all those of you having a go at me on social media about the fact I said, I'm going to say it There's now, uh, I said that those people who come in rubber boats to this country are criminals, not migrants, not immigrants. They are criminals. If you want to argue with me about it, it went viral on Twitter. Well, it's a crime to enter the country, so before they claim asylum, they're technically a criminal. So I think we're being invaded, and some of you said such ridiculously stupid things. And some of you trolls think you're so clever. I have given you all the number. Here it is, 03444991000. Uh, let's debate it. I don't particularly... I, I will, of course, cut you off if you start being abusive. Well, Wokery causes deaths when people drown in, the, in these rubber boats. It's because people are pressuring them and they don't stop it. If you want to ring up and apologise for being woke, feel free. Yeah. The whole of Bristol University Students' Union are a bunch of... And the American Wallops. top ones, Harvard, um, yeah. what do you call it, uh, Pennsylvania. In, I'm not interested in them at the moment, it, although we're apparently doing really well in America. But at do do? the moment, I am really concerned that those people in the uh, Bristol Students' Union who don't believe in any way, shape or form of democracy no. have banned the national anthem. How dare you ban... That's your... Yeah, because they in. sing it... Uh, they ban do it the graduation. The it's ridiculous. You are appalling people. And the train drivers who are on strike, who cause a few of the team yeah, a few problems... Chucky. You, d you disgust me too. You get, you get and then the huge... train's full. You caused me. I had to make an old lady stand up to let me sit down. Yeah, and that is terrible for because she, they don't pay for their tickets. They get yeah. it free, so okay. I believe. Um, so listen, if you want to join us, zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Settle back if you're listening at home. You could turn us on Sky or Freeview or anywhere you can turn Ra us on. Uh, Rakuten. Um, and uh, I think we'll start with maybe one or two calls, and then we'll go into our first uh, guest. Uh, but I want to talk to you about the, the people invading this country at the moment as well and your thoughts on that. A lot of people are very upset that I should call these poor people coming over in rubber boats anything other than um, criminals. And, they're mm. and too much criminals. legal migration yeah. as well. Um, so, listen, if you want to come on the show, call that number. But if you're easily offended or one of these woke people who suffer with all kind... I'm going to the calls, Chucky. We've got to give um, a warning out. Uh, yeah, I've got to give the warning out or warning. Ofcom will be on your back. Um, so if you're easily upset, you know, you, you get easily upset, mental health or Leave any of now. that, Leave it's now. not the programme to watch. If you leave are the telly woke, on and leave the room quietly. Don't you make shouldn't a scene. watch or listen to this show. You've been warned, and if I can remember, I'll warn you again. But why would you watch or listen to something you don't like? I've no idea, but you've been Most warned. Of our Barry in uh, Norwich. Barry, good evening. What can we do for you? Good evening, Jason. Oh, one question I'd like to ask these politicians is this. Mm. Why is it illegal to send these immigrants to Rwanda, but it's not illegal to break into this country, stay here for months and months, claim all the benefits and everything else? Uh, it's a very good point, and I don't think there are many politicians we could ask. I think we, well, have we haven't one got one on here later. anyway. So but the, no, the problem is this that nobody is taking control of this country. And if they say, oh, well, we've got all these uh, rules and regulations, we can't do this, then scrap them you could get stop rid it of it. Very we've left the European dictatorship. We won't be going back unless people, the woke, take over. I don't think mm. they will, because the new generation now are nowhere near as woke as the 30-odd-year-olds, no. and they actually understand what life's about and have a sense of humour, where the others, of course, if you go, boo... They get offended. Mm. So I, uh, I think the problem is, Barry, that we've got very weak and quite a lot of woke politicians. And career politicians not really interested in the yeah. country. Yeah, and I think we need somebody tough like Margaret Thatcher to take over. Suella Braverman. Possibly. Maybe Farage. Yeah, if he you never know. He's doing well in the jungle, isn't he? Yeah. 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 But, Barry, I think the answer to your question is they're just too scared to do anything. Nice one, Barry. Yeah. Good. Well, Sorry, Barry. you call what it is isn't criminal, though, that's what they are. Yep, thank you, Barry. Good man. Uh, Ivor is in uh, Hart... Where is Hampshire. That? Hampshire. Hunt. Thought it was Hartlepool. Uh, Ivor, good evening. Welcome. Yeah, hello, uh, James. I'm backing you all the way. I'm sick to death of these spineless, gutless politicians who haven't got any more gumption than my bloody handkerchief. They should have... The only... The, they keep on about a five-point plan... You only need a one-point plan is turn the bloody boats back. Yeah, we have a navy, we have drones, 
Uh, we have ways, I think, of doing it quite safely. Nobody wants but to see anybody drunk. But you know, that's what they drunk. say, it's dangerous. But how can it be dangerous to take the friends and not dangerous to take them? It's just a, a load of BS, obviously. Ash, it's too early in the evening. I didn't evening. actually... Oh, sorry. Yeah. Please, Apologies language. to all. But they've hopefully left now. Yeah. Um, it's a very good point, Ivor. Thank you very much indeed. Um, also, there was a huge... Mar well, I don't know if it was that huge, actually, in London today uh, with the pro-Palestinian uh, guys walking through the centre of London. Um, I didn't know, actually, until I got in. Do you know the signs there were? There was uh, something with a final the, solution. Yeah, and... they're, they're... I mean, do the people who are doing this not know the history of this country, the history of fascism and the Nazis? I don't think they care. Do, do, do some of you, very young people and pretty stupid because you're student age, you don't have any life experience, mm. are some of you so stupid that you don't understand how the persecution of the Jews went? I don't want to see anybody killed. I don't want to see a war. But the idea now that we have people marching through this country where people, hundreds of thousands of people gave their lives, millions, mm. uh, on both sides of the argument to stop the Nazis and to stop the persecution of the Jews. But I have no idea why some of these younger people are marching through the streets of London. You can see some of them. If you're watching us on talk television now, you will see some of them. They're marching through the streets. They've got some horrific signs and they're calling for a ceasefire. Well, you can call for a ceasefire. Uh, everybody could call for a ceasefire. But the fact is that um, nobody is going to stop fighting just because we call for a ceasefire. Well, neither side do, do they? You know, mm -hmm. because neither side wish to lose. But I'd like to see it stop tomorrow. I'd like to see it never start. And if you've got any ideas of how that could happen, call us 0344 499 Uh Musa. Adnan joins us now. Thank you. Very, me. very nice haircut, may I say. Yeah. Uh, I do like somebody not as scruffy like you in the studio with me. Um, <laughs> now, uh, uh, Musa, you are an academic researcher on all of this and uh, critical content uh, you work for as well. You hold an undergraduate uh, uh, in history and you're currently pursuing uh, postgraduate studies in the Palestine-Israel conflict. So, yes. if anybody knows about it, it should be you. Tell me, how do we stop it? How we stop it, James, is we have to understand the reality of the matter, what is happening on the ground. And what is happening on the ground, I must say, did not begin on October the 7th. No. There is a long history prior to this. The Israelis, the reality of the matter is they have been ruling the Palestinians by an apartheid law, and this has been described as an apartheid by Beth Salem, the largest human rights organization in Israel. Mm. Okay, it's been described as an apartheid by them. So the, real, the reality is what we do need is we need equality on a first level. Secondly, we need... Okay, let's stop, stop there about equality, because that's good. Go for it. Right, let's stop on equality. Yes. Over the last 20 odd years, longer than that, yes. um, the terrorists, you, you agree that Hamas are a terrorist organization? Yes, on a legal yeah. level, of course, good. they're a terrorist organization. Um, that's, that's a good start. But do you agree that the they're... IDF should be should be classed as a terrorist organization? No, do you I agree? Don't. They're, you a, don't. They're, they're, they're the national so, army of, so, of so Israel. I, I wonder what you make of the killing of Adam Samir, the eight-year-old child in the West Bank, where there's no Hamas, who was shot dead in the head last week. What do you make of that? I think that's disgusting, and I think okay. the whole thing is disgusting. Do you condemn it as a, terrorist, uh, as a terrorist I act? don't know enough about it. It could have been an accident. It could have been all sorts of things. He could be a rogue soldier. He could be a rogue There are rogue soldiers in the British Army and all arms. So should we condemn that as a should be an investigation. We should condemn it. Okay, so, so should there should be an investigation. Should be, yeah, of course. Should, he, should that soldier be trialled at The Hague? No. No, he should be he should tried be. in, in no. a court. No. Yeah, they, 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 because they'll punish him civilians. in Israel. Okay, killing civilians. Because, listen, because in war, I don't know if you've ever been in war, but in, in war the situation is people who shouldn't be killed do get killed, and it's absolutely tragic. Yeah, if but you we look can't back, paint the picture like that. But we you can't, can't paint the because suddenly it, because it prosecute become, every... It becomes it, insensitive towards okay, these... I mean, right. Ash, I've seen you yeah. before. Oh, it happens in war. People die. Well, Israel we cannot, kills the least innocent civilians. We cannot, civilians we, in the least innocent yeah, civilians? Much lower you know than America or the, in the UK last two or months, the world average. In the last two months, 7,000... Women, children have lost their lives. Can you the name majority, any? The name majority, one? Well, name Adam, figures, Adam, you Adam, you Adam, I just named you one. Right. That's from Hamas, so you say a terrorist. Ash, just a minute. How, how I'd like to get Hamas? through this interview What's without you getting crossed. I think uh, Ash needs so, to be controlled. Well, where are your well, figures no, from then? He's Ash Jewish and he's... But where, is that, where is that figures from then? But where is that figures from? There These figures have been reported by reputable news outlets. From the Palestinian Health Authority. So is Talk TV reporting those figures? 
Yeah. Well, some people are. We're okay, not. So, yeah, not yeah. on this show. So do you not disagree with Talk TV? Yeah, cool. we're, well, I disagree with you reporting the Hamas We're reporting, Hamas we're reporting all the figures that Hamas are put into the news. Hamas aren't going to be accurate. So, respect. you know, I'm sorry, but you, you yeah. when I talk to anybody from that side, yes, you're yes. so aggressive, and I, no, I wonder why you, no, you no, get no, so aggressive. No. People, on the 7th of October, forget about before that, on the 7th of October, Go for it. terrorists, that you agree, walked into a village murdered well, in the most disgustingly yeah. horrible way everybody they could find from children well, and right. to families any, any innocent Good. lives killed but do you condemn the thousands of women and children that have been killed in on the Gaza Strip do you I've that? already said but that's I, not a moral equivalent I, it? it's not do a moral equivalent that? but I do you condemn that I'm, if, if we want shut to up, I'll answer the question go for it I go condemn any death of somebody who is caught in the middle, and I would love to see the whole thing stop. That's good. I'm happy. But that if you I know. look back through the history of this, yes, there have been there have been wars and conflict there for for ages. Yes, and as has. soon as there's some oh, kind of peace, then the Palestinians, not the Palestinians, the Hamas, start lobbing oh, rockets but, but James, back into Israel. But James, I, I appreciate this. That's fine. But where did this war come from? Where did this conflict well, we are, come we, we from? Are, we, they, have come rid, they have to get it rid of Hamas, don't they? You've got to agree. They've 19, got to get rid of terrorists. Do you agree somehow? 1948 yeah. over eight... But let's just talk about now. Begins. Let's just talk no, about no, where no, we no, are no, now. No, 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 no. Ash, just a minute. Just a minute. I agree that Britain and other organ other countries that sorted out the reintroduction of the Israeli country in 19... I thought it was 46 or 48. 48, 48. 48. Um, obviously, it wasn't done the best way it could have been done. 800,000 Palestinians were displaced. And, and, so, and, 800,000 Jews from the Arab lands. 800,000... All right, let me... Because this is just going to be shouting, day, You're Jewish, right? You're, you're yeah. Jewish. Yeah. Do you know that to this day... If anyone holds one uh, one Jewish grandparent, they can return to Israel with the law of return. Is that true? That, cannot, not, that is true. Well, anyone that can convert true. to Jew. You no, can no, convert to Judaism that and move to true. Israel. A Palestinian cannot yeah. do that. Did yeah. you know that? I know there's Palestinians that are married Israelis and moved out. If we go down the street to a Palestinian out. man who is selling right, falafels okay, down the street. Right, OK, both of you, time out. I want to know yes. what is the solution, because you cannot displace great, the Israeli people. Great so what is the solution? The solution is equality. The solution is ruling by How equality do we get and stopping the, so stopping the lives of innocent people, women and children yeah. being killed by the... So Israel should stop We that. have statements coming out of the Knesset. Anything. You know what the Knesset if is. We, it's the parliament. Yeah, if the we parliament. stop... Hang on, Merav just a minute. Ben just a minute. All this has been gone through before. So no. if we stop... Yes. If the, the rest of the world manages to say to Israel, I think you should stop now. Yes, you should stop. Would you, guarant would you guarantee... That the Hamas terrorists I'm are a spokesperson for Hamas. No, well, they've will promised you, they will do it. Will will guarantee you must admit that we've yeah. got to get rid of Hamas yeah. for the Palestinian people. Even if you get rid of Hamas tomorrow, we press one button, we get rid of all of Hamas. Tomorrow there will be another Hamas. Tomorrow there will be another uh, well, Hamas. There will be another organization not physically resistant. Not, not if they see what's happened. Not, it doesn't Hamas, work, does it? it doesn't physical work. resistance against Israeli rule was it happening work, by does Palestinians well, before. Hang on. Why has never worked, has it? Ash, be quiet just one minute. You've already admitted. You have to control him. I do. Don't worry, it gets even worse. I have already got from you the fact that you agree that Hamas are terrorists. I mean, and we can what... keep repeating that all day. I know, I'm not, but that's all I'm saying. That's a very good thing. So yeah. I am saying that's yeah. an excellent step in the right direction. So therefore, why can we not control? Why can the rest of the world not do something? Maybe to so help the Palestinians as well to get these foul, disgusting terrorists. They're standing behind as the Palestinians. Journalists, one of the first things, as people in positions yep. like yours, one of the first things we need to do is we need to treat the situation on an equal level, firstly, without double standards. I agree. When, Israel are held to much higher so, standards so, so than the rest Israel of the world. So when Israel is kidding innocent civilians, when they are holding Palestinians in ad administrative, administrative detention, what which they can suggest? Uh, hold them do. indefinitely, what do we you need to suggest, question that. What do you suggest they do to well, protect their country? We do and that here, people. it's called well, remand, suggest, isn't it? On your well, your remand. I, what I suggest that we do is we look into firstly stopping the killing of innocent civilians in the West Bank. There is no Hamas in the West Bank. There's a lot so, of Hamas in the West no, Bank. No, there is no Hamas they in the West Bank. If they had an election there, Hamas would win. To be fair, you can't even know. No, they'd win. If they had an election, they'd win, the wouldn't West, they? Who controls the West Bank? Well, that's why they won't have an election. Who controls the West Bank? Well, who knows? Who contro Fatah, what do you apparently. Mean? Yeah, well, you Hamas is killing people. Can we stop it? Can we stay where the trouble at the moment is? Let's stay on the And let's see, you know, nobody wants to live next to another 
country which has got fences well, on a, up on a practical level on, yeah, that point, on that point on that point there's 400,000 israelis have had to move uh, from hold on let me make this point they've it. had to move from God there and they can't move back so on uh, till they've got rid of hamas because they're worried about you, that so so until they've so, got rid of it's some um, so, they can't live in middle so in the middle with, of israel with the current way in which the idf is operating on the gaza strip in order how do you know how many hamas are, are, are estimated to be on the gaza strip do you know no, nobody 30, can 000, know. You 30 might to think 50, you know, but yeah, you yeah. can't. 30, 30 to 50,000. Yes. In order to eradicate Hamas the way the IDF has been attempting to do so far, you would end up eradicating everyone on the yeah, Gaza Strip. That. That's not true. No, is that is true. Well, that to a certain true. extent, Ash, we have to find out how do you You're get You're saying they have to kill two million Ash, people to get I'm, all of them. Well, 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 look at the ratio. I'm speaking. The, yeah. the how day, do you... The, day, you the Hamas ratio. The other day, Both of you now, again, just a minute. How do you get yes. rid of these people? Because you could call for a ceasefire, and it could be it has been done. As but the you're, Hamas you're speaking about actually... the child. You're speaking about the result without speaking about the cause. So how do we get there? Yeah, okay, you get. Let's get rid of Hamas. Today. How do you get yeah, rid the, of the, the IDF the cause. is still killing innocent people so, in the West Bank? Well, unfortunately, how do we get rid of? All wars. How do we They're stop the IDF doing, doing it on that. purpose? They're all not going happening. in and shooting all, innocent that does people. Does not happen in all wars. In all wars, do people do not. Walk do you know how many into, people were killed into villages and killed children? Adam Samir, who was a human being, Adam Samir, who was an eight-year-old human being. Whilst playing football, mm -hmm. was killed last week in the West Bank, where there is no Hamas. These are acts that are extremely, extremely okay, there terrible is Hamas acts. In the West Bank. There can, is... I, can we stop shouting about these? What do you think about these people who are marching through the capital city of this country with signs saying "Kill the Jews, Intifada"? No, there are no signs saying "Kill the Jews." There, there was a final solution today. today. There was evidence. one with the final solution. Evidence. Police yeah, are looking for just, them. Just, just stop for a minute. For there evidence. are signs, yes. and I've seen them. In these marches, so obviously I would condemn such a sign. Do you think that's all I want you to say? That's all I want you to say. But why would you if march? Look, with I'm a historian. Like if we look at history, if we look at history, Musa ibn Maymun, who was who was one of the physicians of Salahuddin al Ayyubi, who conquered Jerusalem. Okay, uh, Zion Zohar, the Jewish historian, spoke about how the Jewish people were liberated by the Muslims. Musa ibn Maymun, you're a Jewish person. Do you know who Maimonides is? Yeah. My money Rambam. Is, my money, Rambam, exactly. Thank you. Right. It was Can a we, result, listen, it was a result of Muslim no, empires. This, so to make the claim that Muslims are against Jews, how, that's a, that's an how do we get to that? There how have, we you get can't to that, close down Israel. Justice, is that what you're asking By for? ruling by justice. But by Israeli equality, Arabs have justice, by not, don't they? they by not equal, displacing... Yeah. I mean, the entire, so arguably, the entire state of Israel what, was what established upon injustice. Will you listen? It, it, yeah, but yeah, Arab states have become will you high court judges in Israel. Israel. They what come to the top what of the do you parliament. think of the rise in anti-Semitism in this country? Surely think, that must worry you. I think it's terrible. I think anti-Semitism uh, anti is terrible, as I think Islamophobia is terrible. Do you condemn Islamophobia? I condemn any kind of phobia. Great. And great. I, I, but do you not see people are scared with some, Ash, when they see some radical Muslim people saying things? It does make them fear what's going to happen. I, I have radical. Not, I mean, you have, but you have radical Israeli market and you had seven seven and Ash, you have all that. Ash, that's right, I've had enough Ash. now. I, mean, I want to. Ash, well, my show, and enough. you will cease to appear on it if you're not careful. Right to James. Sorry, now listen. Yeah, sorry, James. I, uh, you are a Muslim. I am a Muslim. Yes. We only just um, realised. Will you stop it? <laughs> And I, I am irreligious. I don't like Christianity. I don't okay. like Islam. I'm Church not for of, of Judaism. Okay. The whole thing. It ruins this planet, in my view. That's my view. I mean, I okay? strongly disagree. And I, I know you do. Yeah. Because, you, you know. But not only do you disagree in your religion and some other religions mm -hmm. who get very upset, some people in your religion, some people in Christian religions, yes. um, get really heated and quite, quite angry and quite violent about people like me saying, you can believe what about you like. people like you saying what? I don't care what you believe in, you can believe in it. But if you start okay. threatening me or saying, I'm not talking to you, or, you know, I had, a, I had my you? wife in here one day uh, mm -hmm. some time ago and we were talking to uh, an, an imam. I'm uh, Bakri Mohammed. I think it was. And uh, he came on, he came on his yeah, show. He came on. And we had Abu Hamza. Yeah. Okay. We had okay. We've had everybody Chowdhury, on and now we've had yeah. you on. And, and my wife went up to say, how do you do to the guy and shake his hand? He wouldn't shake her hand. He said, okay. I'm a Muslim, I can't shake your hand. Okay. Uh, how can, uh, in your own religion, fine, but why spread that to somebody who's not religious and be rude? I mean, first of all, uh, the, the, the decision to touch someone is a personal decision, firstly. 
Secondly, on a religious level, actually, the reason why Islam actually uh, has that as a ruling within Islam is actually to honor women. You can't, we can't just go around touching any women, etc. If a unless, woman puts unless, her unless hand we are married to, shake to them, your hand, yeah, but jo James, you know what you're you. doing. You know what you're doing. No, you're, I don't. you're judging other cultures, other religions by the way that you were raised. People were raised differently. People have different cultures. Why? And we have to open our okay. minds well, and see those no, other cultures. We, we don't. If it's beginning to get to a situation. No, well, well, you, you culture, started your conversation by saying culture. violence. That's not violence. That's well, not hate. I've seen a lot of violence, violence. and hate. I will by be religion. polite to any woman in this building. I will be polite to her. Yeah. I will. I will. I, I will laugh with her. To, I will yeah. have a. I will have a great time. No problem, etc. But, but that doesn't mean I need to hand. touch her. That doesn't mean I need to touch her. But if she wanted to shake that your hand, you wouldn't. I need it. to touch her. Okay, fine. But it why? Why would you? I, but, I mean, I, I don't, I, know I don't understand the relevance of this. Well, because with, with, I'm trying to understand the difference in culture between these people I, I in the we're world. We're discussing Israel, and we're and, discussing and it. And what is the solution to it? So the and if, is, yeah. if, if you are a, an Orthodox Jew... Well, the solution Jew, to it has Orthodox... got nothing to do with shaking people's hands. It's got nothing to do with mm. shaking people, women, women's hands. That's not the solution. The solution is the killing needs to stop. The solution so is why civilians need to stop religion, dying. The solution is we need to stop seeing videos coming out of Gaza of old men holding their babies. Mm. Yeah, We cannot be insensitive well, about, about October this. the 7th? Don't be what, insensitive. What should Israel do after that? Don't be insensitive What should they have done after that? Don't be insensitive about Nobody's being insensitive about it. Fight Hamas. No problem. Fight Hamas. Don't bomb well, innocent are, civilians. But Hamas keep fight the citizens Hamas. right near them. Go in on a ground do... invasion. Fight Hamas. What do you think? Here's the question. To what? Do Don't that. bomb from you the sky. Bomb. Do what? Bomb. Don't bomb schools. Don't bomb hospitals. Do you think the tunnel should be flooded? Do, do I think that... Uh, I mean, first of all, they Israel... Got, that's Israel, what they say they're going to do. Do you think that's good? The, 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 Israel can do whatever they want. Whatever they want. Look, according to the Geneva Convention, uh, everyone has a right to defend themselves. Exactly. Israel has a... But do you, I agree, do, do, do you believe, do you believe the Palestinians have a right to defend themselves? They yeah, but they're, they're the being... Do you believe... For, that's for not a, defending for yourself. Cutting a, a baby out of a woman's womb isn't defending yeah, yourself. Evidence, please. Or, evidence. or, or a baby evidence. in an oven. Well, evidence. Evidence. there's loads of evidence. evidence. You should watch the, the Israeli the video, evidence. the 43-minute video. Evidence. Evidence, please. Yeah, I've just told you. Are you, no, you are, are you telling you me... Anything. Just a minute. Just what did they do? Did they not do anything? Hey! Enough! You have to... Hey! You have to... You're telling me... It seems like Ash... denial. It seems like Ash has been smoking Or you will go out. Holocaust denial. You will go out. Are you, James, you, you, are often, you denying? You often threaten to kick him yeah, out, but you never kick him out. Of course, I have done no, no one really? have Yeah, I have had security Can we see that today? Just no. act. Can we have, see that today? Have you, in your mind, thought that the 7th of October was exaggerated and didn't really happen? No, I don't think the 7th of October... Uh, of course the 7th of October happened. Well, what's the worst thing that happened then? Because you don't think that... What, what in Look, evidence do you think the worst uh, thing? I will was quote, it gang raping? I will, quote, I will quote the Honourable, or, you know, depending on what he says next, maybe the dishonourable, James Whale, on what he said when you were interviewing Jackson Hinkle. What did you say? You said well, there is no evidence. Were they spitting on the body or the ghastly citizens on week? the woman's body being paraded in the truck? I've interviewed many people Jackson since Hinkle. then. Were they all spitting on the woman's yeah. body in you the back said, of the truck that all of the ghastly citizens You said there is no evidence, right? You said there is propaganda. Were they spitting on the woman's body who was dead and her legs all tissue had been wrapped with a bullet hole in the back of her head? Did you see that? I'll show it to you after. This is getting silly. Because the propaganda... The propaganda is beginning to get more dangerous than the fighting. And it's happening on both really? It's like when 500 people I mean, suddenly James, killed in I the hospital and that was that? proved not to James, be. can I mention something on that? Uh, in the Knesset, we had Merav Ben Ari, one of the politicians in the Knesset, mention the children in Gaza bought it upon themselves. Well, that's how ridiculous, someone, isn't it? Yeah. It is ridiculous. Well, that's stupid, yeah. So well, that's stupid. How, we agree with you that. Did you spitting on the woman's I, body I, in the I, back I of the truck with her legs twisted and a bullet hole uh, in the back uh, of the head? I agree with that. All right. Do you think you're seeing some evidence? Guys, you're agreeing with some evidence, finally. But you condemn yeah, that. Of course, it, you condemn it, it. Is that a video of them ripping babies? But do you condemn that? Oh, so that's it's not is, as bad, is, is it? Because it's only the woman no, twisting with a bullet it. in the head be and then we'll spit on it. Be careful about being insensitive, because James, we know what happened in 2018. Yeah, right, what happened in 2018? In 2018, we should be careful what, about what being insensitive. What happened in 2018? Do you really want me to mention what yeah, happened on your show in 2018? On my show? Yes. In 2018, you were suspended by this very radio show. Really? In 2018, probably been suspended by a lot of people for being insensitive towards a woman who was sexually abused. So we should be careful about being. Insensitive. I we am be not careful. being sensitive. We have to be careful. insensitive. We have to be very or sensitive. Careful here. Are you threatening me? No, you are. You are, you are really. You're being a bit funny. Threatening you. You're trying to be clever, aren't you? No, no, no. For the clarification of everyone listening on your side, I, 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 I am not threatening you. I am not threatening you. I actually have to take a break now. And I think bringing things up that I've done, I've been sacked a few times and various other things. All the best ones have. 
shows that I do, sometimes you might overstep so. the mark. Be being I, I am not being yeah. insensitive. Well, what was. I am trying... To be fair, you weren't. Ash was. You know, Ash I was. actually I think... I'm just saying so, what I Just think. a minute. Mm -hmm. I actually think a man who wouldn't shake another a woman's hand who put it out in friendship is pretty insensitive. And I think I, you should be ashamed and of yourself. And who told you I'd done that? You did. When did I you say You said you I'd wouldn't shake somebody's hand. What, why are you making about shaking oh, people's gosh. hands? If you don't understand what, it, what relevance there is, is never going to be any we're kind... We're discussing... We're discussing... How is this Israel. thing This is actually to, insensitive. How... Raising side issues... Really? When, when you've children done it all are along. Dying. How, and I've Raising said that is the most appalling I've done it all thing. Along. Raising you, side issues when children are dying. I have said that all along, I don't want to see anybody killed. I don't want to Great. see wars. So that's what we need to discuss, not right. shaking people's hands. I'm asking you, all like and you Come won't on. answer, what then do we do? You go back to the history, oh, it was terrible how Israel was, uh, I'll was started. Tell you, I'll tell you the first Israel, thing Israel, are do. Jews not the children of God? Uh, as a Muslim, I don't believe we're children of God. You see, religion, right? that's it, religion. You just asked me a religious question. No, go on. You but just asked me a religious question. Tell me so let me answer the question. God. The first step. The With first no proof. Step. The first step, the first thing that we need to do, firstly, is stop the killing of innocent women. But Hamas and Israel, neither of them want to do that. Neither side want to do that. We saw the United States of America guys, veto. Guys, how I'm do trying you... to stay on topic. Yeah. Ash is taking but I mean, you Ash. just want to wear flowers in your hand, do a little circle of peace. Ash. They're at war with... Oh, Hamas don't want to... Chuck, peace, you are going to have idea. to come and take him out if he doesn't stop right. it. How do you achieve this? No one can take me out. How? Would you both stop this? How do you achieve this? How can... Israelis, Jewish people in the world, and Muslims, wherever they live in the world, how can they get on? So, so we're discussing the case of Israel and Palestine. In so the case, how can they get on? Yeah, I will answer your question. In the case of Israel and Palestine, first of all, Palestinians should be, stop being killed in the West Bank and Gaza, number one. Number two, equal rights. There is no equality. There is Israel. Amnesty International. The largest human rights organization. Ash, you need to know. You need to learn this. I'm going to educate you now. But you're talking about guns and right. uh, You're going back no. again. You're coming off oh, track. I'm, I'm asking you. I'm going. How do you uh, make it quick? I've got 30 seconds Go before a commercial break. Perfect. How will you live together with Israelis? Stop Israeli the killing. Jews? Stop the killing. Yeah. And and actually become equal towards all people, Just including peace. Palestinians. Okay. So have including peace. Palestinians. Yeah, fine, Good. Let's hope it happens very Let's very hope. soon. Let's yeah. hope. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walked into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. 
This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. So. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Yes, it is. Thank you very much indeed. I'm, uh, I, I would just love, I nearly said pray for, but I'm not a religious person. I would just love to get somebody, obviously one side of the argument, the Jewish side of the argument is sitting next to me. It's not just and the Jewish side. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying I would just love somebody to come in and tell me how this could all be sorted out. Because you're not going to get rid of the nation of Israel. And well, Saudi was... Arabia are making peace with Israel. There's a lot yeah. of peace being made with people who you'd never think, and it's made peace with Jordan, and they made peace but with if Egypt. You go there and, is a possibility. If you go and march through London with oh. some of the signs that have been shown oh, yeah. again oh, yeah. on social media and on television, you are never, ever going to do this. Now, our good friend Ollie London joins us. Thank you, Ollie. And, well, I mean. Ollie, we talk about all kinds of things, but, Ollie, you've just recently... You went to Israel to spend a week. Why did you decide to do that? So I went because I was just shocked at the way social media has been playing out over the last mm. two months when you've seen, you know, pretty much silence and crickets from many influencers, you know, refusing mm. to condemn October 7th. And normal media, not just social media. Uh, oh yeah, of course we yeah. know who, you know, yeah. the... Sky, um, BBC. BBC and stuff. And, you know, yeah. I was horrified by that. And then also there's so much misinformation out there. You know, there's a lot of people denying what happened that day. There's a lot of people celebrating it. And the day after that attack happened, we saw protesters on the streets of London, New York, Toronto, celebrating this and you know that was before Israel even responded to defend itself mm. so I wanted to go there on the ground I wanted to hear the stories of family members that have been affected I wanted to meet uh, family members of the hostages currently still in Gaza and hear their stories so I could share that with the world what do you think is this huge problem that there is no there doesn't seem under talking uh, to Musa before uh, you you saw suddenly get all the history of the whole Israel Palestine thing thrown at you which all goes but I'm sorry it's all it's all steeped in religion to be honest it with you it could have been fixed it's been kept but going hasn't why it? on earth can't anybody just calmly say and you get yourself worked up and understand that but why can't fine, anybody calmly say how this could be fixed now in a war you wouldn't do it's that now, tragic you? You to see that. kids running out of the rubble it, it breaks my heart to see that mm. and the wars that were fought before the Second World War, if we had social media, goodness only knows how that would have gone. I mean, the bombing of Dresden by us to sort of was just horrific. The, but would um, we the have bombing, lost the war without the bombing, all these bombings? No, no. But the bombing of London was horrific. If people can, yeah. you look at the the, the sort of, of stuff coming over from the West Bank of Gaza now. London was like that. I when I it's all out war. It's existential war. I, it's I lived in a pub next to a bomb site in London. Mm. There are none now, but you know they were there till 30, the eighties, weren't they? I remember yeah. when I was a yeah. kid. Even, but that's why so it's a war it close to World War Two. Well, it's a very difficult situation because, you know, there have been, uh, you know, they've tried to have peace talks before and peace agreements, and every time Palestine doesn't agree to these terms that are negotiated by various Well, Hamas groups. for two years were pretending to negotiate peace, and that's why they had mm. all these workers going from mm. Gaza. But actually, all the me me the time they were planning for peace, they were planning this. So you, you can't even trust them to do peace because they've said that's part of their tactic. Let's have a, let's have a, peace, um, we've heard enough of you. Do this operation. Let's have a little look at the, one of the videos you made, which was interesting and maybe mm -hmm. talk us through this a bit. Uh, if you are not watching on Talk TV, if you can, switch on, have a look at this. Uh, if you're listening on Talk Radio, we'll try and explain it as well. Here it is. So, guys, I'm in a safe room. Uh, this is in a family home in uh, Kibbutz, Kibbutz uh, Fahaza. And, uh, sorry, uh, you can smell the human flesh. You can smell the human flesh where clearly the family have been burned alive in this room when it's a panic room. It has a, a secure door but it can be open from the outside. You have, obviously, the door comes as a lever, which can open the uh, shelter room. 
So I know some of the stories of the families here, they, they were trying to keep the door shut as the terrorists were tugging on it and eventually, after hours of struggling with that, they were unable to keep them out. And if you just look at the floor, you see broken glass everywhere. And you can smell, you can smell the human uh, flesh. It's a very distinctive smell. And look at, look at the walls. You can see the window is completely, completely smashed. I mean, just, I just want to say to all of those pro-Palestinian activists, how would you have felt if you were here on that day? On that day when 1,200 people lost their lives, when kids were killed, when children were raped, when they were burned alive, how would you feel? Put yourself in the shoes of the people that lived in Kibbutz Far Aza and look at this scene. This is not okay. Nobody should be uh, defending this or trying to justify this. We really need to speak up now because this should never have been allowed to happen and this should never be allowed to happen again. So we really, really owe it to the families that, that, that lost their lives in this horror scene. We owe it to them to speak up. And this bathroom is completely charred. Completely, the walls are completely blackened. Everything is smashed. More houses devastated by the attack. And you know, the, the sad thing about this is that there are still people um, in this country denying that that actually happened. Mm. And the problem a lot of people have is that the propaganda put out by social media um, keeps people confused. And of course, it is the most horrendous thing to see children being bombed and, you know, and I'm not, I, I don't understand how people think they would have behaved had there been a massacre in this country. Mm. I, I, what would we have done? You, you know, I just do not understand how suddenly the propaganda swung round, or swung round, swung round to the other side, the opposite way, and suddenly, uh, we are having kill the Jews from the river to the sea and all the other slogans that are being shouted. And then as soon as you ask the question, how do we solve it? There is no, nobody says They just say ceasefire. And they? then they say, well, would you call the IDF terrorists? They're the, the, the national army of Israel. And in a war, any war, I mean, you, you look but at the Second World War, it, the Afghan war, yeah. Unfortunately, people who can't get away from the area, and many people can't, get killed. It's the and they're most not being used as human thing. shields. It's actually more but difficult for the idea. Yeah, what they're doing now, though, is on, on I suppose, on both sides, because they're putting out these videos which confuse the situation even more. And I just don't see what the answer is. Well, I met so many Israelis and met so many government officials while I was there and they, you know, they were just reeling from the worst massacre, one of the worst terrorist attacks well, since 9-11. Absolutely horrifying. And they were so shocked at the way the world reacted. Mm. And look, unfortunately, it's very sad, but Jewish people are unfortunately so used to this and they shouldn't be used to having this blatant anti-Semitism, but they were so shocked at how so many people were so hateful and celebrating this massacre. There was no mourning process for these people. There was no mourning process for these kids that that had their hands tied as they were shot and burned alive. There was no acknowledgement of that, and that's the real and they, sadness they, Some here. people did actually predict did that. You, they said there'll be a bit of sympathy, and then they'll start turning against Did you manage to then. talk to some normal, ordinary, everyday mm. Palestinians who'd got in the way? Did you manage to do that? Were you able to do that? Um, so I did actually meet uh, some Arab Israelis. So mm. I, I went to an Arab Israeli community, and, you know, they are living in Israel, but they are, of course, Arabic and Muslim and stuff. And, you know, all of them were... Uh, so horrified about what happened and you know there are so many communities in Israel I visited the Druze community which is a very old religion Druze yeah Druze yeah. very interesting and so I met people and but they enjoy living in Israel they yes. want to they wouldn't want to move to uh, they like living not. in the Jewish state it, so let absolutely. me let me ask you Ash and give me your uh, considered opinion on this and they're in the army as well Ollie and I listen Muslims in the idea are you listening yeah okay yeah, what I'm all in, ears what in your and let's do this sensibly and seriously I am man. what is the solution what as somebody who regularly goes to israel i know that i haven't been for years but what but you have to do is um get rid of the radicals and get a no normal um... how do you do that 
Well, that's you the, can't that's exterminate everybody in a country. Well, they did it with it. the Nazis, didn't they? They didn't. It? No, they did not. They got rid. They did. They, they didn't. Germany aren't Nazis anymore. Well, are they? no. Not, well, not that but, our last look. But if Hamas maybe then, again though, with all the immigration, if they could, Hamas well, actually put up the white flag and say we surrender, do you think they'd have to go? Wouldn't they? Or leave? Maybe they could leave, but they couldn't live with them. Who could live with them next year? Ollie. Well, not a single Arab country will take the Palestinian refugees in. And, you know, what a temporary solution would be is if, you know, Egypt opened the Rafah crossing and just allowed a temporary refugee camp just for these people to have safe haven for now and then come up with a solution, whether that's rebuilding a city somewhere in the Sinai Peninsula. UN run maybe there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. But you know, the problem is, even if you get rid of Hamas, you still have the ideology there. And the sad thing is kids are taught right. in schools to hate. They are taught how but to again, with Nazism, weapons. they managed to get rid of that as well. Sort of. It's, it's a very long process. So once you get rid of yeah. mass, you then have to well, get rid of Well, it's from that three years old, ideology. basically. So everyone who's. But but, you know, if you want a real solution, you have to look at who is funding Hamas. So you have Iran. Can you stop your phone? Well, if you want to get rid of uh, Hamas and future terrorists, that you have to cut off the funding source, which is Qatar and Iran. Iran and is us as well. And with Hezbollah. the aid. With the aid that we well, the aid, we've seen. They're billionaires, the leaders. They're three billion pounds, we've, one leader's worth. We've seen Hamas hijacking a lot of these humanitarian aid uh, trucks. Yeah. Mm. On the side. I mean, mm. what I don't understand is... I mean, the United Nations have shown themselves up to be completely useless. Uh, well, I don't, biased, I, they? I don't think yeah. Israel would let them into this situation now, no. but maybe... Uh, An Arab-led um, peace force would be good. They never really do that, but why don't the Saudis and maybe... If someone from that world they might be more accepting of? I mean, they're all, they're all saying, you know, we support our Muslim brothers in, in Palestine, but not a single one of them is taking action to help these people. Mm. You know, Jordan has a very large Palestinian population. Why not take them in, you know, mm. until there's well, they a... Well, they have refugee camps in Jordan as well. Uh, absolutely, they do. You know, why aren't these other countries, Saudi mm. Arabia, that has, you know, trillions of dollars in yeah. annual GDP, why are they not saying, let's have a temporary refugee camp, let's build them facilities, let's keep these people here until this but problem is But the Saudis, is on one hand, are doing peace with but Israel, see, but on the other hand, they've got to pretend this, they're a bit this, friendly on the other is exactly the thing I'm talking We're talking about this. Mm. Um, and I, I, I cannot understand why suddenly the, the way things have changed. Nobody wants to see innocent people killed. Mm. It's yeah. heartbreaking, as it's I said It's horrible before. seeing kids. But yeah. then why do we get texts like this from somebody saying, Ollie London, shameless war tourist. Who is this dick, excuse the Wait, language? He names him and then says he doesn't know who he is. other people's <laughs> misery, shameful waterers. But you see, you are too stupid to put your name or to call in and take part in this debate. If somebody can give me some way that we could find peace between Palestine and Israel, I would, I would be talking about it non-stop. Uh, and to call Ollie a, a war tourist, I mean, really... Well, what, what good do you think that does? How do you think that actually helps the situation? I went to see the families. I went to see the victims of this attack. So, you know, that is to try and draw attention and share these people's stories after what they went through. You know, there was a story of... It's had a lot of views, your stuff as well. Yeah, there's a story of a family in this village who actually went to their home, Kafar Azza, and the father was found clutching his two children in his yeah. arms with the mother, and they'd been shot to death after their house had been burned down and in their yeah. safe room. And there were 62 people in that village that were killed, children yeah. found with their hands tied as they were shot. Did you, you meet know. politicians out there? I did. I was with the Israeli Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, with yeah. my so I met a lot of ambassadors and uh, ministers and you know, just I met so many people. I met Arab Israelis, I met people living mm, on the yeah. border, people living in the north. But tell you what we're mm. going to do, you want to stay with us, I'd like mm. to take calls. Absolutely. I mean, here's another one, says um, Dan from Kent. He's uh, one of our regulars. If you want to text us, 87222, start the text with the word talk, it'll come through to us. Uh, and Dan from Kent says, if it wasn't for Hitler's persecution of the Jews and the German citizens shown of the horrors we would have uh, we would have had repercussions of the bombing of Dresden. Um, no, so people got this mis perhaps, yeah. We didn't go to war to protect the Jews. Britain went to war to protect itself. There's a bit of... You've yeah. got to go back to the history books. Yeah. Right? You are never going to get an oh, answer when you catalyst. constantly talk over each other. Well, we, we try, never talk over. We, we never talk to. over each other. But you we know, that, that, we never do that's that. a pretty no, we never stupid thing to say. No, we never do um, that. James and Ash, you're both thick. Lots of love from Sean the Keep Shoe. Keep listening. Yes, it's educational. For he's, you. And he's a regular. Yeah. You know, some of you come up with some decent ideas rather than just being rude. We'll take a break. We'll take your calls when we come back.
we're here. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using Excel bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast ah, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm I'm going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? Use? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Right, OK. If you want to be rude, then uh, phone 0344-499-1000 and uh, we'll take your calls. Uh, what do you think can be done to stop the appalling situation in the Middle East? Let's talk to Andrew in Birmingham. Andrew former, Kerr. Uh, yeah, Andrew Kerr, former member of the European <laughs> Parliament, or as I like to call it, Andrew, the European dictatorship. Um, Absolutely. Andrew, what's your thoughts on this? On the on the immigration, how are you referring to the illegal immigrants? James? No, no, I'm, ta I'm talking. The, the, I'm sorry, the they put you on with. Issue. I'm talking about the Palestinian um, issue. Okay, on my view on that, I have to say I'm not pro-Israel. I'm not pro-Palestinian, but I probably share the sentiments of many. I'm horrified at the horrendous deaths on both sides. It's and um, but because they're so entrenched, I think we need to have. The only way we're going to have a long-term peace is to stop the fighting, and I think that means we've got to have a UN Arab peacekeeping force that comes in and we get a break, and, but also make sure that international law is respected. So we try and de-escalate the tensions. Yeah, these are the great words, Andrew, like all politicians, Beautiful but how words, do you yeah. actually make it work? So we just let the Hamas rapists go that did all no, that, that terror no. attack? No, but look, What's, look at the consequences. Do you want to carry on trying to destroy the buildings? Even no, more? we even don't. If we wipe out, mm. but, we wipe but out you every can't... Palestinian... Well, that's not going to happen, will, is it? No, not it will happen, not, then. and it will, a new generation will come with greater evil well, in their hearts. They're already taught for the age of three to do that. It's not going to get yes. any better, so, is it? 
at least we've got to put a barrier... So you are saying just let them all off? Stop. No. What I'm are you not, saying then? Certainly not. How do we what get... What I'm trying to say is we need to bring in an international buffeting peace... Yeah, but what about the people that did the crime? Well, let's get to talk to the now, the people that Absolutely. did that terror attack. And, and so I you agree with what Israel are doing in, in routing them out and killing them and getting rid of them? And then peace? I, yeah. I, I don't think what... I don't think it's in Israel's long-term interest to continue... So you are saying let them go, the people that... Let me, listen, Andrew, let me, let me make this easier. Thought. Andrew, let me make You're this going easier. Going round Will you be quiet? Let me make this easier for you. Uh, if the same thing happened here, um, you're in uh, Birmingham, somebody, mm. some terrorist organisation suddenly got up in Birmingham. Well, there was the IRA pub bombing. Just a minute. I mean, was, yeah, but we, we didn't go and, and slaughter well, everybody was, in Ireland. It's well, no. a different thing. If somebody, got into country, a, somebody went in and did what they did on the 7th of October in this country, uh, from another country, yeah. What will we do? Will 20,000 people killed. Will we turn around well, and well, ignore it's, it? It's very, it's, it's, isn't it very similar to the horrendous Birmingham pub bombings? We've never got those people, but we've mm. actually, for a piece, we had to bite our tongues and some of those... Mass yeah, but what if someone had come into away? Birmingham and done it, murdered, raped mm. and killed 10,000 people? That's different, isn't it? But at the same time, have there not been even more numbers on the other side killed with the innocent Palestinians? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the rape and the ho that's that's collateral well, damage, isn't it? Murder. It's very different, isn't it? Don't you think there's yeah, a yeah, difference yeah, in yeah. raping and gang rape and well, murdering no, and well, collateral well, damage? I'm saying murder is murder. Which well, you're wrong, aren't you? Terrible. So you're saying the British were Sorry, as bad Andrew, in Iran and Afghanistan uh, as it? How, let how me much? just clear this up, Andrew. Kerr, are you actually saying then when an innocent person is killed in a, in a war situation where? The armed forces don't know uh, they're attacking a, a, an attacker. Their yeah. people are killed who are innocent. Then the, the person who did that, the, the pilot, the, the soldier, whatever, they are murderers? Is that what no. the note no, you're okay. saying you to just our said forces? That. You did just say that. No, uh, Jane, where there is a clear knowledge that the, the, the bombing is going to hit yeah. mass innocent civilians as well i think we have to no, but every um, strike goes forward. through a lawyer every strike there's a whole there's hundreds of lawyers as a whole unit and every strike goes through a lawyer and they say is there this many citizens we can't do it some citizens are just so it's andrew, all done legally we, we must move on and take some more calls thank okay. you very much andrew kerr former mep uh nicola standard of meps um shire nicola good evening what would you like to say MPs are bad enough. Oh, yes, I'd just like to say I was actually correct a couple of uh, weeks ago when I did bring in and told you that they were trying to bomb the whole of Gaza, mm. the idea. Well, no, you were wrong, weren't you? Probably. You're actually wrong. No, absolutely right. No, but they yeah. could have... They, Israel have the means it's to do that. Your hairstyle. Nicola, 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 Nicola. Nicola. Israel have the means to do that, but they haven't, have they, Nicola? Stop shouting. Sorry. Nicola, Nicola, if you... Nicola, just will you be quiet one minute? Nicola, Nicola, get rid of Nicola. Bye, Nicola. Right, bye. Bob. Bye, bye. Ludlow, yes, Bob, your point. And keep quiet Sorry. until I've heard it. All right, Bob. Bob. We'd heard All right, mate. Hope you're both well this evening. Yes, Bob. Get on to the point, Bob. Got hundreds of people trying to get on. What do you want to say? Okay. Personally, I think we should have, or oh, there should be, an international buffer zone like there is in Cyprus. So it divides the two communities between a UN buffer zone. Um, That's a really good point. That's a really good point. But what let about me, the let, hang on, what Stop about you. The... Let's uh, go to Ollie and answer that, Steve. The, the problem is with that, Bob, is, uh, you know, before October 7th, there was a ceasefire in place, but every single day Hamas launched rockets uh, into Israel. So even if there was a buffer zone, they can still launch from southern Gaza into Israel. And you know, every day I've just been to Israel now, the people live in fear. They have rocket attacks, which, you know, sometimes they, most of the time they're shot down by the Iron Dome, but sometimes mm. they do hit buildings and civilians. And, you know, no, there is no real solution. Even with a buffer zone, they can still get the rockets Actually, in. before October the 7th, it was Islamic Jihad doing it because Hamas... Because Hamas, well, no, Hamas, well, Hamas, well, Hamas were pretending they wanted peace. So they were let getting Bob Islamic respond. Jihad to do it. Well, oh. look, look I'm, a, I'm a former soldier and military policeman. Basically, at the end of the day, if you've got a UN buffer zone with UN forces in situ, they can investigate. They can't take action as uh, you might necessarily think, but what they can do is investigate what's going on and provide the necessary proof. But you know the UN is bent, don't you, Bob? No, listen, yeah. you're being... You, no, Bob will know that. He's it, a forces it's guy. It's the best 
solution I've heard so far. You know, what about ISIS? We wouldn't have done that with ISIS, would we? We wouldn't have done that with ISIS. Yeah. Allowed them to just I, carry Bob, on. Bob, yeah. that's a very, very good point. I'm not moving on because I'm just moving on. I don't have very much time. Uh, Steve in Warsaw. Steve, your point, please. Hello, guys. Steve. This is a question for Ash mainly. I've noticed in over hundreds of years such hatred for the Jews. Uh, Can you tell me why there is such so much hatred in the world for Jews? I don't know, mate. All right, Steve, thanks for that. Yeah. What's the answer? What? That's a good why, question. Why, why? Why, why would I know? Well, because I don't you're know Jewish. Everything. Yeah, no, but I mean, I don't know. Well, like, you know, it yeah, could but why be. I, do you I have think? no idea. Maybe they're just different, a different tribal. It's a human thing, isn't it? Um, well, I, no, I there's no not idea. as much hatred for other nations. Ollie, come in on this as well. I mean, why is there this, this sort of hatred of the Jews? Is it because they call themselves the, the children of Christ? Is that well, why? That wasn't them. Well, it's, it's, it was God it, called us you can you, you know, there's Jewish people, there's also Roman Gypsies that have also God. had that similar oppression throughout yeah. history. And, lots you know, I, I just visited the Holocaust Museum. The Kurds as well. There's the Kurds of, as well. Um, I just visited the Holocaust Museum in Israel. And, you know... You Zoroastrian do, in, in Iran. They have to decimate you, it. But it does make you question, how on earth was this allowed to happen in the 1930s, 1940s? How did this happen? And now we're seeing the same thing. So, mm. unfortunately, anti-Semitism always uh, rears its head and you know when you allow people to be openly anti-semitic which is what's happening now in the streets of london that emboldens other people so you know it's sad you know since the times of jesus there has been persecution of jewish people they've always been persecuted and well, before that's why, that the egyptians were at it as yeah, well with moses but that's why they need their own homeland and you know they need their yeah. own safe place and israel always was the biblical homeland it always was for yeah. thousands of yeah. years and people yeah. seem to forget get that get so, over it you know, I've met a lot of Jewish people. They say they feel safer living in Israel right now under rocket. And over half of Israel's population is from Jews expelled from Arab lands. So it's not from the Holocaust. And you also have a million Colonel. Russian Jews as well. Guys, fled Ollie, Russia. good to see you. Thank mm. you very much Thank indeed. You. I'm sorry we're going to crash out of this. Thanks, we'll see Ollie. you again soon. Thanks, appreciate it. Uh, join us after the next break and after the news. Back in. This, my friends, is Talk Today with me, Jeremy Kyle. And me, Nicola Thorpe. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going, to, you're going to resign? Yeah, of course, I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. This is Talk TV. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi Sunak the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. For the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walked into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. 
Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are What's you prepared you? to call is Hamas possible, a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you discussion can't, can you? you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place uh, where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. This is Talk TV. That was the Vatican on the phone. They're saying that we've got to watch. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, Ben Lockname, Pete Barnes, and of course, Father Calvin Robinson and the woke rabbit. <laughs> Very good evening. Welcome back to uh, the James Whale Show with Ash Unleashed. Starry night. Starry night. No, get it right. Star. Do you know people get so fed up? There's so much hatred coming through here well, at the moment. It's working then, isn't it? And uh, it's, I'm going to have to try and uh, get people to, to love you again. Uh, welcome to the program. If you're easily upset or offended, don't watch this. This is the place to be. Don't watch or listen. Uh, talk radio, talk TV. We're live uh, until 10 tonight. Now. I've been tweeting over the past few days... I wonder what my, that smell was. ..my annoyance <laughs> at this serious issue. The, the majority of people, I think, care more about in this country than anything else, and that is the small boats landing on our shores, weather permitting, day after day after day. Eight million pounds on a day. On these stuff. boats are normally not many women and children, hardly any, there are young men of a military age coming here illegally. They are criminals. And a lot of you disagree, so I would like to hear from you. 0344 499 1000. This is the time we're going to talk about it. Joining us in the studio, our political commentator, Lizzie Cundy, is here. And um, let's start off. What are your thoughts on this? These are people apparently we should feel more charitable about. Apparently, I'm told by Chuck, I, uh, I went viral at some point Did on you? this. I have no idea. I don't really... <laughs> worry about that sort of thing. Um, but th these people are coming here illegally. We're paying millions eight of million pounds... Eight million pounds a day on the hotels. To put it's them in eight homes. Point five million. It's gone up. Thank you. It's gone up. Um, in home, in hotels, there are people now at this time of year sleeping on the street in this country who can't find anyone to feed them or look after them. And they've them. paid tax all their lives. Uh, well. Exactly. Some have. Some, some have been in our military. A lot of ex yeah. um, There are people who are finding it difficult to get doctors, to get school places, to get homes generally in this country. And I, you know, it goes over the top of my head mm. being called racist. I'm not racist at all. I'm not going to be, I'm not racist. I'm not even going to give it an answer. But I'm fed up with being called it every mm. time we Far say right, yeah. we right, cannot yeah. No. cope with any more. What are your thoughts? Well, the first order of any government is to look after its own people. And sadly, we're not in this country being looked after at all. And Rishi and his five pledges that he said, you know, stop the boats. I was really in favour of Rishi. I thought he was going to be really good. Well, I don't know whether no he was meaning did. plural, because he hasn't... I don't think he stopped one boat. I don't think he'd stop a pedalo. And the fact is, this is costing us, the taxpayers, money, as you said, to just be put up in hotels, 8.5 million. Mm. And in my lovely village, we had a beautiful hotel, used to go to weddings, have events. Mm. Now it's full of military-aged men. The schools nearby can't let their children walk by. They're 
they're worried the teachers don't and a lot like of it is and where what why are they are military now? aids where are they well they're like, it's eight million pounds a day but of course they're going to end up living here and they'll be on social for the whole of their lives some of them and of course you know there's military guys ex-servicemen this literally happens lying in doorways and there's people stepping over them going yeah. into hotels who've just arrived in the country we, we've got still this, don't what, forget 180 on, yet to be processed yeah, I've had so what can we yeah, do what i've had a lot of stick it? well we can send them back to france because that is we are being invaded now there's no two ways about this if all these people on boats had weapons we would not be just letting them come into the country they're not escaping a country that is doing them harm uh, admittedly the french could do a little more to keep them out the other side but they're not mm. these people are coming here for all kinds of reasons and everyone gets in 100 percent whether you're a paedophile a murderer or whatever don't like well, you just a, get in well, this, this there are no checks is... they throw their papers away mm. and i'm getting fed up with people saying oh God, have you got any any feelings at all yeah of course i have there are many people come to this country people come to this country legally and we welcome them in and that's the way it should be but those of you getting on the boats, you are just damned criminals. Mm. And quite frankly, nobody in this country that I know no. wants you here. And if, if and you disagree, call. They're already in a and safe James, country. If, you, if well. you're coming in illegally, you're throwing away your passports. We've yeah. seen it on the news. We've mm. seen it on social media. Then you are a criminal. Well, this okay. is illegal. Well, you've already and passed safe be, countries as well. It's not but like we're you. giving all this money to France. Mm. What are they doing? We mm. can't turn the boats back because we're still with the ECHR. Mm. What are we going to do? Because Rishi is standing there Other now. Countries are. It's so embarrassing. He's taken the backbone out of politics because mm. he stands there on mm. his pedestal saying, stop the boats, and he has lost but all But the other side's not reputation. doing any better. The other well, no, side's not doing exactly. any better. And Keir Starmer, we ask him... He didn't even talk about mm. immigration, what he was going to do when it was the Labour Party conference. Didn't even mention one of the most important things that people that watch this show ring up all the time want to talk about. Mm. He didn't even talk about it. And if you talk about Rwanda, what they're going to do, mm. what they think, That's none of, rubbish, of them isn't it? will answer. Yeah. But Rwanda's a waste of time because yeah. they could only take a couple of hundred people anyway. Why We, we don't go to work, no. all of you who are working and paying tax, don't go to work to give money in the millions to countries for doing nothing. No. And giving money to hotels and giving money to... We're giving billions and billions of pounds that people work hard, not including myself, work hard to actually uh, survive, and we're mm. wasting the money. It's billions. Now, billions. there's no reason why we couldn't leave the European Court of Human Rights, no. if that's the sticking point. I don't think it is, because we're out of flipping European We can already stop them on grounds of national security. Well, you of can course. do that. We can the, the laws are there. We the laws Tony are there Blair that opened the floodgates because yeah. he wanted votes, basically. Yeah. Well. Um, and and we've got ourselves, we've had 13 years and we haven't secured our borders. Yeah. And the fact is now, we are in a rut. For, so for Rishi to even, you know, give this as a promise, you know, it, it's pathetic. Since Tony Blair, 25% of our immigration over the last 2,000 years has come in since Tony Blair, 25%. Of so, you know, I'm saying now, especially, I think, with the... There's so many more not going to... are in, like, the political wilderness, won't vote Tory, don't want to vote Labour, and I think reform, actually... Well, we won't promote we any won't, political but, party, so no, like that. But no, but I do yeah. think with Nigel Presumably. in the jungle, well, there could be a chance who knows? for someone to who come knows? through. He could join the Tories, can I'm they? voting monster raving loony at the moment. That's yeah. what I'm voting. They gave me an award the other they day. They gave you a position, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, Minister yeah, of... But one, um, why, right. do, why are they... Minister of Slapheads. We put a couple more calls on and Minister then... Of Wales. To, yeah, but Minister of Wales. Why do they throw away their passports? I can't say why, that. why is that Because allowed? they're criminals and because we don't treat it seriously. Here is the answer. We put the Navy in the channel... We have drones patrolling the, tra the channel, mm. and if they come from France, we push them, them back. back. They not say that's dangerous, but them. how can it be dangerous one way and not the other? It just doesn't make sense. But uh, no. Richie is a, he, he's not, I'm afraid, he's useless. No one ever voted him. Okay. The only no one, thing right, we know. we've done this, we're repeating ourselves. Baz in North Wales, your thoughts. Baz, good evening. How are you doing? Good, Baz. What do you want right. to say? Okay. The country is being run by an outside source. We're not running our own country. Oh, Baz, you're talking rubbish. Who do, do you think's so? running the country, Baz? Nobody at the moment. Baz, well, have you got something sensible and serious to say, or are you just going down the route of conspiracy theories? That is genuine. That's what's going to happen. We're is it gonna the Illuminati? 
You know, we're, go we're going to be fighting these people that's coming into the country to survive in our own country. Mm. That is going to happen. What would you do if you, were, if you were Prime Minister, Baz? What would you do? Prime Minister Baz. Well, it, it should have just all been No, Baz, answer the question. One. Baz, if you were Prime Minister now, what would you do? I'd just send them all back, finished. That and is the answer. Very good. I think you Vote make a for very Prime good Minister point. Baz. Thank do you, what Baz. Australia did. Why can't we do what Australia did? Yeah. Why can't we just turn them back? Well, because uh, politicians are too frightened to come on on a show like this and answer the question. Belgium stopped them, didn't Let they? Let me just change the subject for a while because I feel really annoyed about this. Yeah, go on. Um, junior doctors plan longest strike ever. Mm. Obviously, I spend quite a bit of time in and out of hospital. I think that's appalling. And um, the raising of the BBC licence fee. Mm. Oh, that How point. on earth? I saw a really patronising prat on one of talk shows earlier today mm. who was going on about, oh, well, you know... Oh, I they, know the bloke. Yeah, yeah, they all... They, no, wasn't no, it? not Christo. Um, they, uh, they all think they are better than the rest of it. They go, oh, no, the BBC... Blah, blah, blah. I think the BBC's rubbish, basically. Mm. The quality's think, gone, hasn't um, it? Yeah. They haven't invited me on Celebrity MasterChef. Oh, so I how think dare it's they? absolute rubbish. Well, I think it's an out of date dinosaur, and I, I think can cook. he's a good cook. And I actually think the quality's gone downhill. Their oh, ratings are, are 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 going down, and yet they can have the likes of Gary Lineker. Well, look at the news channel. It used to be held in high esteem 30, 40 years ago. Now it's it's laughed at. But the money they give some of their presenters, yeah. as I said, mouth of the day, Gary Lineker, about ten thousand licence fees, about ten thousand licence fees. Our money we're paying for, and yet if you're an elderly lady, you can actually be prosecuted. In prison. And in prison. Yeah. And we saw... Well, they do they prison, maybe. No, they but do, they can yeah. prosecute. They they Most are women. In the last two Most years, are women that are in prison. For it's a threat. A and yeah. we saw the adverts of the BBC yeah. here, what they used to show, if you haven't mm. paid your licence. 10% of all court cases are But the are, quality are of shows mm. isn't great. Um, they're asking us to go up by £10.50. Yeah. I Will don't... You I don't I don't even. Hardly she gets watch. a free one. I don't watch. She gets a free one. I don't yeah, watch. Because over the. You know, no, I'm not. Over she's the over age 75. Of no, I, how dare you? <laughs> no, but I, I think it's very unfair. I, he I, gets it free. And it, you know what? Yeah, People just don't imagine. even watch it. Imagine if Netflix arrested you for not watching and paying Netflix. for RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race. I know. Yeah, that would be terrible. I would pay good but more than what I But if you look at what for. some of the presenters are on, this I is, know. you know, mm. we're paying we're for jealous, this. We're jealous, but, yeah. News readers even get three, four hundred thousand. But then the BBC can't even call mm. Hamas but if they, terrorists. No, no, And I they know. don't give the right... It's such a if woke... If the BBC thing. were closed down, and they could be... Jeremy Byron. Then they could, then they could uh, sell off to commercial broadcasters and new people who want to get into broadcasting bits of the um of of the bbc will you stop this just thinking about bits jeremy barrow well stop feeling feeding about him <laughs> um honestly eat yeah. Oh, Jim Bowen. Yeah, yeah that's the best Bowen. Look, it's your choice. If you want to watch the BBC, like Pay others, like with Sky, yeah. Netflix. But why should others... they charge us for not watching it mm. when we want to watch Netflix or we want to watch Apple or whatever? We, you it's, know. it's choice. It yeah, should it's be the only way your to get the money. choice. And we've moved on. And I'm afraid it's out of date. Yeah. It's programmed... You can find ways of watching TV without paying the license. You can watch any of online, uh, but not live streaming and not the iPlayer, but anything else. And look, I, I don't want to sound like an old dinosaur myself, but it used to have great programmes, you yeah. know, like, uh, uh, you be. know, Only Fools and Horses, mm. Morecambe and Wise, It was innovative, Porridge. wasn't it? That was when you had one person picking the comedy and one Dixon, not focus groups. Oh, not Dixon of Doc Green, but what about the wooden tops? I don't remember that. <laughs> there we are. It's you and Ash. George Dixon was named after I George Dixon Man School in Birmingham. House. I was Run in about. Bless This House. Yeah, he was. And I Doctor was Who? Doctor Who. Nicholas Robbie Parsons Smith. chased him. I, I walked on nearly every chase set. Chased me, chased me. Uh, can we put some calls on? We've got thousands coming in. Just take a couple of calls uh, while Lizzie is still with us. Um, and, by the way, you were a little late coming in tonight. Well, um, I'll tell you why. But I know. The strike, basically. And those people going on strike should be ashamed I, of It's themselves. absolutely awful. And you know what? I, I've, I feel... Look... I, James, I'm all if 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 someone needs to strike, but when you are in the, the nobody business, needs to strike. You no, know, when you you say I'm going to be a view. nurse or doctor, mm. Mm. and you're putting people, patients' lives it's sort at of like risk. hostages, isn't and, it? And surely mm. that's a vocational. It's job. holding people hostage. Like if you stop trains, it's not so bad. But if you're actually people will die because they'll miss appointments that would, you know, find the cancer. But okay, I, let's take a couple of calls. Ruth in Sirencester. Ruth, hello. Good evening. What's the point you'd hello. like to make? The point I'd like to make is 
We were in the Middle East many years ago, I admit, but we were um, friends with um, Kuwaiti people. What's the point you want to make, Ruth? They're, they're very loving and they're very caring. All people are. They've got a good good army. Yeah, all people are. And, and, good and... People. But when they got invaded the problem, by Iraq, on, where were all the other Arab countries hold protecting on, hold them? Hold on, hold on. Ruth, when you call in, you have to turn your radio and TV off, I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Because it's difficult to understand what you're saying with that going on in the background confusing you. Thank you, Ruth. And whoever's putting the calls on, would you make sure that you tell them that? Otherwise, Bimbo's I'm, doing that. Tonight, is it Bimbo's yeah. doing that? OK, fine. Uh, <laughs> she allows us to call it. Call yeah. Uh, James... In um, West Australia, Yorkshire. It's all right, apparently. Ash said that first, not me. No, she said it's all right. Hi, hi, James. Oh, it's Dingo. Hi, yeah. uh, hi, James, Lindsay. good evening. Hello. Lindsay. James, what do you want to say? <laughs> um, I just want to say that um, I'm on carers' allowance, and the problem is that this time and age, that, um, you know, we, under the current government guidelines, um, the likes of me can't work for even 10 hours a week mm. or five hours a so week. So what, what are you saying that you're worried that you will have your Social Security payments uh, cut? No, because... I'm, no, what I'm saying is I'm a carer for my mum. Right. Um, my my mum's um, disabled. Yeah, so what is the point I you're trying would, to make? I would like to go out and work yeah. for um, 10 or 20 hours benefits. a week. Those benefits. Mm. OK. Well, hopefully you will. Uh, James, thanks very much indeed. We'll take a short break. Back after this. Good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walked into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? 
If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. So. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas it possible a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV. It's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry. We can agree on that. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues? Or the stories that impact your life? Jim, who was on at the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. Talk radio, talk TV. Talk TV. Welcome. Unleashed. Lizzie Cundy is still here. And uh, we're now going to talk to uh, a pro Palestinian marcher who's uh, Roshan Mohammed uh, Salif, I think. Is that mm. correct, Roshan? Salif, isn't it? Not really, James. Sal well, Salif. But uh, close enough. <laughs> I can't even say my, my own name very well, I have to say. Um, OK, so I got Roshan right, did I? Yeah, yeah, close enough. Thank you, William. Nope. We'll do yeah. it again. I can't. I, I can only speak in my own way, if you know what I it's, mean. It's but... Roshan. That's Roshan. Oh, Roshan. 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 Fine. Roshan. That's a fine. Roshan. Good. I do hate people who put on a, a, what they think is the right accent for different languages, because it doesn't work, does it? Um, <laughs> Listen, you, you are uh, the editor of Five Pillars UK. Perhaps best if you tell us what Five Pillars is. <laughs> it's a Muslim community website and social media platform. Basically, we're, a, we're probably the biggest uh, British Muslim news website and social media platform in the UK when it comes to news opinion analysis. That's who we are. Why are some countries like... Uh, Israel, like various other Middle Eastern countries, why are they seen more for their religion than for the people in the country? I'm a, I'm a non-religious person, I make no excuses for it. But some people, because they're born in certain countries, um, are just considered that they must be of a particular faith. Why do you think that is? Well, when it comes to the Muslim world, obviously, um, you know, the, the vast majority of Muslims living in Muslim countries have a strong faith. Why? Uh, how, is, how does that happen? Well, because they believe in the Quran, they believe the Prophet is the messenger of Allah, obviously from uh, a very young age they're taught a certain way and they become, uh, when they become adults they take conscious decisions. Uh, but yeah, Islam is uh, something that penetrates the hearts of Muslims all over the world. But why? To an I don't extent, understand why. Religion, so. There's no proof there is a God. I don't understand why any of these religions get so, uh, you know, the Christians well, during the that Crusades went on mad. Thing. Who made that chair you're sitting on, James? Who made the sun, the sea, and the stars? You know, Are you I telling mean, me God made we the got chair I'm sitting that. on? No, no, I'm, what I'm saying is that someone made it, right? So how did the world get here? The world got here Not because there was a who made it. I'm told the chair was made in China, uh, which has nothing to do with it really anyway, but... Yeah, but you can't you can't prove there's a God. And, and listen, I've had radical Christians haul me up about this, but the whole thing is that the current problems in the world, particularly in the Middle East at the moment, are caused by people arguing about their religions. Mm. And why can't religion, if there is a I God, if I there's a God, why isn't the God actually stopping these horrendous scenes of children and women being brutalised and murdered? Why isn't that happening? I think I think atheists are the the biggest slaughterers of human beings in the world. Paul Potts, uh, Hitler wasn't a religious guy. Stalin, these people killed millions. Yeah. The biggest of killer of Muslims is fellow Muslims, like in Syria and, and Yemen and, and Saudi Arabia. That, the actual biggest something. killer of Muslims is Muslims themselves, isn't it? And, what, and there's not there much protests about that. There are, there's no doubt there's civil wars in the Muslim world, often instigated by the West. The, the seeds are planted by Western colonization and occupation. Is there anything good the West ever did? Did we ever do anything? 
And if we're if we're so awful, why do you live here? Why why would you want to live in a country that's so horrible? I, was, I thought this was a I thought it was a democracy. I thought people that criticise our but, government. Yeah, it our, is. I'm, which is why you're on the air. No, no, James, let me speak. Let which me speak. Which is why I'm you're talking. on the air. I'm a guest on your show. Treat me with courtesy. And bye bye. I've had enough. No, I've had enough. I'm not going to be spoken to like that. You know, I don't need to be told how to behave you on my own show. In your show. I don't, listen, you if want to talk about it, don't tell me how to do the show. You want to, you want to be on the show, you want to talk, then fine. You want to speak. I've asked like you a question, you don't want to give me an answer, so you try to deflect I will give you an answer, but on, I, insist on letting, I insist on speaking for more than 10 seconds. Is that is that too much to ask? Um... When you do it in such a patronising and pompous What's way, your question it annoys again? me. Are Hamas terrorists? You're a snowflake. You're a snowflake. Uh, you, uh, but you can't take it. You won't answer, sense. will you? What's I can take question? anything you've got. Did you not hear the question? Because you were well, talking. You just threatened to get rid of me. So you're a snowflake, obviously. What's the question? I'll answer it. Are Give Hamas... me six I'll answer it. He asked, are Hamas terrorists? Have you finished? Yeah, I'm, ask I'm waiting for your are question. Are Hamas terrorists? Well, I can't really speak freely about Hamas because there's a law in this country which says you can't praise or glorify Hamas. So we can't have a free conversation about Hamas. So you want to praise and glorify So them. you want to praise and glorify a bunch of murdering... No, bastards. I didn't say that. I, I can't... Well, what's this illegal country... about what you would want to say, then? This country doesn't have any freedom of speech because there's I've, a law... I've got you on. I could have cut you Hamas. off. Not because I would of love freedom to have of speech. an open conversation with you about Hamas because, I... actually, actually I, I've been to Gaza. And I've met Hamas officials, uh, and I've read deeply about Hamas and its history. But unfortunately, because there is no spe free speech in this country, I can't have an open conversation with you about Hamas. Don't Otherwise, say anything. Yeah, don't you say can, anything. You, can, don't. you carry on. Have the conversation because you're talking wrong. Well, what I would say, can I just say one thing? What I would say is that um, when it comes to this issue and answering your question as directly as I can, I prefer to. I don't. I don't. I don't see the sense in condemning the occupied i prefer to condemn the occupier which is israel they are the ones that stole the land ethnically cleansed it occupy it have been brutal they've killed eighteen thousand civilians including six thousand children loads of women as well, well that's hamas right. figures, I prefer to right. reserve my just a minute just a minute no, even hamas aren't saying that much just both of you one moment right two guests in the studio want to have a say and this is freedom of speech and this is democracy but what Good. isn't freedom of speech and democracy is you refusing to tell me that you think Hamas are terrorists because you don't, do you? I, I, I risk prosecution if I answer the question freely. Well, you've answered you it. Then. No, well, he's answered it, hasn't he? You've answered me, it. James Royal, you've answered the question. Yeah. I can't hear. Yeah. James Royal, can I answer? Can I answer? Yeah. Do you expect me to go to jail so that I can answer a question on your poxy show? No. Oh, uh, poxy on my show. poxy show. No, he would. He's obviously saying he would glorify bye bye. and praise them, so he can't do well, no, it. So no, he's no, answering the question. Get rid of me, Snowflake, I told you. Have you, answered, Rush, have answered answered you forgotten it. what happened on the 7th of October? Have you, Did you see what happened? What Hamas did to innocent families and children and, and the horrific brutality? They would still be raping the women hostages. Most That's why they that haven't let them go, because they don't want them to talk. Most, most of that is Israeli propaganda. Right. Uh, I don't believe the Israeli version of that. Can we get, so, listen, think... both of you be quiet for a minute. Do you believe the Holocaust? Be calm, huh? yes, just a moment. Yeah. Why would you be prosecuted if you said to me, Hamas, in your view, are not terrorists? Because I've had loads of people come on here and that say that. wouldn't get that. you arrested, yeah. Because there's a law in this country, you might not be aware of this, but there's a law in this country which says you cannot glorify Hamas because they're a banned terrorist organisation. Well, you're not I, going to glorify I, a, I a, an organisation. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, mistake. are they terrorists or not? I think it, I'll answer it in my own way, not in your way, OK? Um, you're not judge, jury and executioner. What I will say I I is am. that I believe it was a mistake to put Hamas on that banned list. Let me do it this way. Lizzie, are Hamas a terrorist organisation? Yes, they are. Terrorists. She's not going to get prosecuted. Why? I don't know what you're but scared she's not of. She's glorifying them. And I'm not glorifying them. No, and he I'm not, will, obviously. That's I'm not why denying he's what happened on the 7th of right, October. Let's hear the answer. It didn't happen. Let's hear the answer. Go on. She's not going to get prosecuted because she just criticised the match. So basically, you're saying what you your answer would get you. Truthful. You're saying what your answer would get you prosecuted. Basically, is, is if, if I praise the mass, that would get me prosecuted. Hold on, let me hear his answer. What, what are you saying? Are you saying that you, you would get arrested for your answer? 
Do you no. have any criticism of her manner? Can you answer that one? Would you get arrested if, if you answered? If I answer question the wrong way, I would get prosecuted, yes. So you would glorify them because you're, no, you, you know... Well, no, he would, he, he would if he... If so you're basically yeah. saying but, the 7th of October didn't happen in your eyes or the way it was shown? No, I think it's propaganda. I'll, I'll tell you what I think happened on the 2nd of October, if I can get 30 seconds to speak. Um, yeah, I, I think what Hamas did is that they went into Israel, they attacked military bases, they tried to kill as many Israeli soldiers as possible, uh, they took, tried, tried to take as many hostages, Israeli hostages as possible, Citizens, so, yeah, innocent. so they could bargain Babies, their women to get Palestinian prisoners out of Israeli jails. And I think the civilians that died on that, that day mm. are mainly Sorry. by okay. Israeli army. Yeah, I can't let you go on like this too much because you're talking rubbish. But all, no, those, all those people... I know more about the situation all... than you. I Did you see it. the woman in the back of the pickup truck and all the, all the citizens, not just Hamas, were all spitting on her body? She was shot in the back of the head, twisted round and dead and had been raped. Right. Did you see that? Wiped did you, out. Did you no, see no, that? No, let no, let no, answer that specific let question. Let him answer. Uh, I didn't hear it because everyone was talking no. over each other. Did Say you see the woman who was in the back of the truck and the whole, all the citizens, not just Hamas, were all spitting on her? Bang, she was shot in the back of the head as she'd been raped. And there was a body in okay. celebrating in great. the town. Did you see it? Whole families wiped yeah. out. This is babies. getting us nowhere. Okay. Well, he's not he's answering it. I, I want to no, I I answer. I there's want no answer. proof she's been raped. All right. Okay. She was, <laughs> so let's say there's no proof. She, she was shot in the back of the head and twisted around and they were all spitting on her. Is that not as bad? Because she, she wasn't raped. What will I, happen? I that, answer I that. I remember, I think I remember what you're referring to. Okay, and I think good. she was an Israeli soldier that was brought back into Gaza. Oh, that's all right. Just twist her body around, shoot her in the back of the head and all spit on her body. That's perfectly civilized and not savage at all. Both. Stop. As soon as I get somebody one side and the other together you can't answer any of the questions well, on the other side you, 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 the you know i'm asking you what the solution is you go off in some kind of strange way what is the I'll solution the solution is for Israel to leave the land, hand it back to the Palestinians, the rightful owners, and all the settlers to go back to Europe and everywhere else where they came from. Well, the, the Arab lands, 55% came from the Arab lands, they're not going to get welcomed to... Why, don't, why didn't Hamas give back the hostages? Right, I've had enough of this. I've had enough now. I've had enough. I'm not listening to any more. I'll answer that question directly for one. don't bother. Don't and what will happen is... You're interested in the answer, are you? No, not because you'll just give some other friends the crap. Um, here's crap. somebody who says, uh, could argue, you... Beat me in an argument. Don't just hurl insults. Well, we have beaten you in an argument. You can't no, you argue. Haven't. You can't answer any you questions. You cannot say you what happened on the 7th of October. Guys, very clever guys, guys. I think everybody has understood his side of the argument. Exactly. I think we all understand the side of the argument. And he's laughing. He thinks it's funny. You are, just, well, I can I can just be quiet. Amazed, right? You are you... disgusting me that you come on to talk about a serious me. subject yeah. and you yeah, laugh in me. that smug way. You disgust yeah. me. Goodbye. Don't come on the show again, even if somebody mistakenly invites you. Tony in Bristol, you're on the air. I can't stand that. I'm really angry. I'm trying to find a solution. The solution, just making it will, worse. Be, just the making solution it worse. will be when the media get bored with this thing, like they did with Ukraine, and we don't see it no, in the media but anymore. Sadly, uh, sadly, like people like him saying October the 7th Hello, didn't Jane. really happen in the way it Hi, did. Hi, Tony. Hold on a sec. We're just getting Yes, Lizzie Tony, in. what do you mean by interrupting our no, conversation? Chatting to Lizzie, do yeah. Hello, And there Jane. was a scene. Hold on, Tony. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Sorry. You've got a lovely programme. Um, you did ask earlier on what lovely. would you do if you were Prime Minister? Mm. Prime Minister Tony, what would can you do? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah we can yeah. hear you, Tony. What would you yeah. do? If, if you were Prime Minister... I would meet the small boats coming in with an armed escort straight to an aeroplane and send them to for Rianda. Why do people bring um, us and, and talk have such them stupid things? there before they come back. The Prime Minister isn't going to go down with an armed guard every time <laughs> hundreds of people come to this country illegally. We have a navy to protect this country. And I am sure that the Navy could stop people coming over here illegally if they yeah. were tasked of course it could. to do so. It might be that we have to use a lot of drones, but we have That's to show AI. the world. AI would, yeah. would but spot why we have we to show the world. all that money to France? Well, millions yeah. and millions. You tell me. I mean... What are they doing? And now, of course, the uh, president, prime minister, I never understand which one. President. In president. France. France, yeah. Actually. They've got a prime minister too, haven't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, he's now yeah. siding uh, 
against um, uh, against Israel and, and mm. you know everybody would like that to see sense. a ceasefire. Of course, it's awful the scenes. Yeah. It's horrific. Everyone Thanks, Tony. Wants... They're stopping uh, the marches David, in France. Though. David in uh, Col Rain. It better not be that, David. I hope it is. No, it's it's <coughs> wrong. To Dave. David. Hello, James. How are you? you oh, no, it's, a di it's a different one. Thank no, you, David. Bye. And no, Dave. In... Dave. James, no, I'm ringing about James. I agree you have Sorry, David, you're another the, religious person and I can't no, no, there, be bothered there, with the not, stuff that comes not. out I of condemn, your mouth. Are you getting James, I condemn it. I condemn turds. I condemn it, James. And I agree you have You condemn, condemn what? Turds. Turds, I condemn it. I, 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 that's wrong. Curds. Uh, turds. Thank he you, David. Talking. I can't understand a word you say, and I'm not prepared to... Well, and die. what did you say? No, he was the turds he, can, off. he contends a turds. And you, will you stop it? This is a serious not, situation, not, 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 yeah. and oh, we're yeah. being frivolous. We're just lightening up a and bit. And you're in Birmingham. You're on the air. Hello. Oh, James, he was oh, you don't understand how I said get David off? Yeah, that's it. Totally or I will sack you. Both of you. I'm really annoyed now. Anya. Properly annoyed, by the way. Not putting it on. Right, Anya, take a deep breath, Anya. Take a deep breath. And now, what do you want to say? I want to say, what would you call the settlers? What would you call a name for them? Would you call them terrorists? You don't understand the whole situation, no, Anya. Not, no, no, Anya, you, you don't you, understand. You, the, you don't understand. You don't understand your situation. You don't understand what the... You don't... You talk. You think these people are settlers coming to this country illegally? No, I, I watch out of the news every day. Lies, my friends. I can see exactly what's going on. Why are so, so many people like now? you? Are, I'm really beginning it's to get worried about, about this. She doesn't she sound like me. The terrorists that are thieving off people's homes and, and, and murdering people. Would you call them terrorists? Oh, for they're criminals. Sake. They're criminals. Well, they're criminals. We're having a civilised conversation, then, because I'm not one side. Are you hands free on you? I'm for free. Can you, you, can you use your hand? What? Of course I can. I can use that better. Free. That's better. We can hear what you're saying now. They're criminals. Let's start they're again. Let, we all terrorists. got off on the wrong foot. Let's all start again from the beginning. All right, then. What I'd like to know is, what would you call the settlers, apart from settlers, would you say they're terrorists? Are you, hang on. Are you... I see I see what you mean now. I thought we were talking about the rubber boats. I do apologise. Oh. No, no, know. the settlers, uh, right. the settlers so, are the, murdering people and um, murdering the, people every no, day. We're talking, we're talking about the murderers of Hamas no, you who were commit... Talking, yeah. I'm finding it really difficult to no, actually you know, deal with can this. I just say You're better on hands-free, actually. Can you, can you go you back onto hands-free? Okay, stop it, stop it. This is a <laughs> serious know, point. Sorry, I was just yeah. lightening the load. Yeah, don't. Yeah. Um, no, I wouldn't call them uh, settlers either. And these are terrorists who are uh, committing Hamas, atrocious you mean, you mean Hamas. acts. OK? Exactly, and the settlers are. He That's means what Hamas. Saying. No, he means Hamas. No, no, I'm talking about the settlers. You're talking about no. the settlers who went... You, I know what you're I'm asking, asking you, me. I'm asking you a question. No, I'm not you. saying they're terrorists, you, but I am saying... All you people on the television... Can I talk? Come on, I'm on, I've come on your show no. to talk. All you, you people, can talk all you if people, you make you're sense. all one-sided... You're all one-sided, and that's what's going to cause World War Three. Instead of being, I thought you're supposed to be in the middle. We're not no. one-sided, no, but BBC. we're saying Hamas are terrorists one, that committed that's that's uh, international butchery on seventh of October. No, and all you've got to say all the time is about the seventh of October. What about the eighth? What about the ninth? Should we have seen the other side of ISIS yeah, as well? Not, Should we have listened to ISIS? Stop it, both of you now. All the people. Anya, listen to what I'm going to ask you. Anya, listen to what I'm going to ask you. Some of the kibbutzes that were uh, uh, massacred. Some of the what? No, the, the, what were they took when they they the they peace, make a they peace but they they went in and they took country or took land off them. That shouldn't have happened. And Israelis well, did try and stop that, but yeah. and I'm sure they, they will they all again. Totally but, left Gaza. The set they got but, all the settlers out of Gaza. Yeah, but you know you don't do what Hamas did. You don't walk into a town village and you murder every single person. Film it. Film yourselves parachuting into a, uh, a young person's music festival Sorry. and shooting them. You don't yeah. do Especially that. To Can a, I imagine a, a if that happened in this country, Anya? Yeah. What It'd be would 20, you expect us people to killed. do? Thanks, Anya. We've got to move on. Kit in uh, Thanet. Hello, Kit. From Knight Rider. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, Kit. Not quite. <laughs> what, can you, what do you want to say? Um, well, 
what? I only just switched over, and I'm sympathetic to you, James Well, in dealing... You had to deal with that character, that guy. He was smirking, and I've observed this from Islamic people. I've been smirking whenever you mention the topic of the 7th of October, or any of the psychopathic horror that has been inflicted in the Middle East by people who have been bred um, over the last few decades to behave like this. It's not... I, I, I've seen that smirk as well, and also it's not just yeah. people from the... It, it's people like when you see them taking down the posters and they get challenged by people on a, a yeah. camera. They have yeah. that little... I what really I call it, it's a little Nazi men. smile. Yeah. They're, hor a little, they're horrific. Yeah, a little Nazi smirk. I mean, I saw smirk. what happened yeah. to Stacey Dooley in Luton with those women, in, you know, uh, pointing at her and calling her a whore and holding a sign up after for Sharia law and complaining about our government banging up their relatives who are psychopathic terrorists. Yeah. Psychopathy is in the audit. This is neuroscience. A psychopathy is in the auditory cortex and it can be hereditary. Mm. So what we're dealing with when people say the word Palestine or Palestinian or Gaza or Hamas, what you're dealing with is probably over a million psychopaths who have been bred to behave and have this. They've been brainwashed. By yes, the, the and, environment, by the schools, yes, basically. And there it? are several different additions to the religious texts they have, and some of the texts they have indoctrinate them to hate all Jewish people and hate anyone that isn't And themselves. Christians, that's the Why, thing, uh, yes, why do Christians, you think that... that yeah. Al Jazeera reporter... Mm. Of course, Al Jazeera is rather interesting, you get another perspective, but on this it's very biased. But there was an Al Jazeera reporter, Palestinian, but she was a Christian, and you should have seen what happened to her funeral. She, her funeral was attacked by Palestinians because she was a Christian. Mm. So these people are cults. Well, no-one talks about the Christian ethnic cleansing there. in the Middle East, do they? The Christians why, have been ethnic why cleansed. Why can yes, nobody... And you make a really good point. Um, thank you very much Kit. for that, Kit. Kit great, you make a really good point. Why can't any... Listen, I don't care what you want to follow, God, sooty, anything you want to follow, but unless somebody can Sweet. actually prove to me mm. there is something in this... A lot of people have faith. We all believe in different things. All of us have things in our heads that think might happen when you die, might not happen when you die. But those people who don't believe in a religiously organised God, the religion's just as bad for a lot of Christians, don't start me going. A lot of these religions assume that they are the chosen ones, mm -hmm. they are better than the rest They're, of us. It's above the law and of the land, yeah. that's where yeah. it starts, and I'm fed up with it. Patricia in Staffordshire, you're on the air, hello. Hi, yes. Patricia. Running out of time, but go on. I despair with these people. There is no way that there is ever going to be anything but conflict. Yeah. Mm. Because they are radicalised, they're fanatical, mm. and just listening to that moron that was mm. on before, how the hell can you actually... Yeah. Negotiate yeah. with that mentality. If you're going to kill yourself, how can you negotiate with someone who's willing is, to die? Hamas, aren't, Hamas are nothing more than terrorists. Kill. They're the worst. They're, they're a death, death cult. cult. Yeah, death exactly. Cult. And, they're, and, they're, and their kill. leaders are billionaires. Mm. You know, Patricia, got no, billionaires. No, have they the last went, word. He said that they went in to kill Middle Street Post and all the rest. I'm sorry, That's which, which, what shotgun or yeah. what? Semi-automatic weapon of these babies got but, in their crib. Patricia, yeah. I, 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 no, they were. Well, they just say that didn't happen. Yeah. No. I know it did. Patricia, thank you very much indeed. We're going to take a break. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to one of our reporters who is uh, in the Ukraine in a moment. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, of course I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news, you've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about sport today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. 
The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilt. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds, so far result, nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass, <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this is important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing interviews. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm going going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can't, with you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. The illness helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet office. <laughs>
Um, and so people think if you're in the West, you might not necessarily feel the repercussions. But there are two types of air raids that go off here in the country. The first one is uh, if a, any sort of missile carrier or plane leaves Russian airspace, then a nationwide alarm is set off everywhere. Yeah. And then the second alarm will go off if it's going to land, if it is a drone or a missile is in your local area. Now, if you're coming here and you're hearing one for the first time like I did, it's quite scary because you don't really know which one it is. And locals here do have their way of figuring that out, though. There are social media platforms, Telegram's used a lot, um, and there are news sites as well. Um, but it is quite weird out here. People are quite calm when the first initial one mm. goes off. Uh, which I definitely wasn't. They got used got to used it. To let it. me, um, Minty, let me ask you. I mean, you've gone there with uh, the Siobhan's Trust. Uh, you're making pizzas and food for local people. Um, mm -hmm. It must be pretty depressing when they must see on the news some of the... We've been talking about the Middle East. That seems to be the whole of the main news story at the moment. But innocent people are being killed, both sides, but innocent people are being killed every day in a war situation like that. Are they surprised that the, the rest of the world in many ways seems to have turned away from the conflict? Because it's, as far as I can see from watching reports, it's just as bad as it was. Yeah, I think that's definitely accurate. And I think a lot of people would argue it's from their perspective worse. It's been going on longer. Um, yes, to be honest with you, people are surprised. I've had a lot of people um, Come and speak to me saying why aren't people talking about what's going on here anymore i feel like we're being forgotten mm. um which is quite hard to hear really do they feel they're like losing the war or, or do they feel how do they feel about the war itself how it's going that's really changed um with who we've spoken to i think a lot of people have got family members involved are feeling disheartened it's just from the fact that they've not seen their family for a while um i think a lot of people are finding it hard to tell to be honest with you because as you hear back in the uk there's it's quite hard to tell exactly what's going on. Also, exact movements are kept secrets from both sides because obviously you need to be able to keep an element of surprise. So to be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure, but the economic side of it is definitely struggling. Uh, people are feeling that burden at home. There are power cutouts, uh, air raids are happening a lot, um, and people aren't necessarily coming home. I met one woman actually on my train over from Poland, uh, and she's got three family members who are fighting, and the, her brother she last saw last September and a familiar phrase coming up for anyone who's well you don't even have had studied history uh, she says that she hopes we'll be home for Christmas this yeah. year so Minty, how do you cope with the grief though you must be seeing so many families as you say that haven't got their loved ones I mean that must be really tough for you so actually someone um who's volunteering for the charity that I'm with at the moment so it's like really interesting today which I think responds to that quite well they said that in the East, you are feeding people and you're supporting them. People really need this food. Uh, there's a lack of food. I'm also going to soldiers. In the West, uh, there's a le le it's less of the feeding that's the necessity, but it's the supporting. Um, it's bringing that joy and happiness and going back to the idea of the West forgetting. It's reminding people that we've not. It's sometimes difficult, uh, I've got to admit, to not get that let down by the stuff that you hear. Uh, I've only been here a week and I've heard some stories that uh, really do kind of take a mm. while for you to keep a smile on your face. Um, but I think it's quite important and I kind of see it as more of a people have got a pretty tough life going on here and if you can um, bring any moment of relief I think that's more important. How long are you going to stay there for Minty when are you coming back? So I'm here in the west uh, until later next week and then I'm actually going to the east. So I'll be there well, for a little while. Maybe we um, can talk... And then I'll be back just before Christmas. Maybe we can talk to you next week from the East on the show. Yeah, yeah I can't promise what um, <laughs> signal will be like. But if not, I'll come in uh, to the studio when I'm back. Uh, but yeah, hopefully yeah. I'll keep you updated. Why do you never one. make us well, pizza well, when you're in the studio? <laughs> Oh, let me yeah. think of your stomach I'm a again. I'm I can make you as much as you want. <laughs> Please do. We have to go to the shop, don't we? Look after yourselves. Yeah. Stay yeah. safe. Minty, uh, you're putting on a very brave face. Thank you for uh, talking to us. Very good report. That, Stay you? safe, and we'll talk to you uh, about how things go in the East next time. Thank what you What an amazing much. girl. Yeah. Yeah. We need more yeah. people like Minty. Yeah. And, uh, and, and putting on a brave face. Very, very brave much face. So. Very yeah. much so. Uh, let's talk to Nicola in Buckinghamshire. Nicola, good evening. Nicola? Nicola! Hello, you're you? not going to cut me off this time, You've been you? on already tonight. Has she been on already tonight? You love it, don't you? Nicola? 
Yeah, I cut you off. I'm cutting you off again. Well, no, it's just that Kim that was on, she was going on about um, that Shireen al Akbar, who was a Palestinian um, Al Jazeera reporter who was shot by the Israeli IDF. It was investigated. Nothing ever was done about it. I don't really know about that. And, um, yeah, I do remember. I think the way, and I just think if you've got a human shred of um, humanity, how could you see all them children being blown up? Well, nobody yeah. does. All the no, why do you horrific. get the idea that, that, that the we that have no humanity? Sending. Why do you think because, that is? Because we, you're sitting next to a ma guy that's Jewish. So goodbye. Get, in, get rid of her. What would goodbye. You World War II, no, then, get you? rid of her. Don't ever put somebody I've cut off on again. Mm. I think we're going to have to change our phone operator. Because she is beginning to really get on my nerves. Is that your fault? I, I quite but like not, No one wants to see poor children. Of course they don't. It's a horrific war. It's horrific. horrific. Well, Hamas do, actually. This is they what, do want to see This that. is what is beginning to annoy me. How the media is being... How... What are we doing wrong that so many people march along the streets going, kill the Jews? That, well, that's it. I just what? came through from Trafalgar Square to get here, and so many... Well, we've imported signs, it, haven't we, over 20-odd years? You that's know, what's that, happened. It, it's nothing more than hatred. Why yeah, is that yeah. being allowed to happen? I think a Why lot of it has got stopping? to do with the fact that the educationalists in this country are not as good as they should the be. The police seem to be doing a bit more uh, proactively after, and we'll okay. see what arrests Let's are made after this. Final call. Jeremy in New... Jerry. Jerry in Newcastle. Hi, hi, man. Jerry. Jerry. There's another one listening to the hi, hi. radio of the TV. What do you want to say, So sad, Jerry, because we're not going to have time to talk to you much. Jeremy? Stuart is in Burnley. <laughs> Stuart, good evening to you. Good evening. Right, so uh, what's your point? We've got about 30 the, seconds. Go on. The only way. No. Come on, Stuart. Spit it out. Oh, yeah. Come on. Put the, Navy, put the Navy in the channel. That's what the I'm only saying. way to deal with. They're I think already you're there. Right. Thank They're you, Stuart. Very, there. very good point. Um, They're already in Why there. don't we use the Navy? It's They're in there and they bring them back. They bring them here. I, I do. Yeah, we use them the wrong way around. Yeah. Because we will be told by the uh, the immigration lawyers that that is not really a possibility because we are still members of the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, we left the European dictatorship so we could have control of our own country and borders, yet we still don't. Lizzie, thank you for coming in. Lovely to see you both. And Thanks, Bob. Next week, hopefully, you won't have any of these appalling people stopping you getting here. I know. Well, it's uh, every every Saturday. We've and got the marches. you're invited to my place for the Christmas Day special. Oh, to yeah. your place? Are you cooking, Mrs. W? I, uh, Mrs. W is going to cook. Yeah, oh, I love yeah. her roast potatoes. Yeah. I'm not wait. inviting him. I'm making a mince pie as my special he's, ingredient. Uh, he's really annoying. The brandy cream. I'll, I'll bring us some food. For the news that matters, for the opinions that matter, for the stories that matter, find me, Vanessa Feltz, every weekday at 4pm, only on talk, on TV, on radio, online and on your smart speaker. Very good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. This is Talk TV. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi Sunak the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. 
for the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. <laughs> Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. <laughs> if you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about weirdest plank that we've had in what, yeah. three years. Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> yeah. This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares uh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing interviews. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm you're, going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Are Definitely you prepared you. to call is Hamas a have, terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, discussion can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. This is Talk TV. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues? Or the stories that impact your life? Jim, who was on at the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV. For the stories that matter. As that was the Vatican on the phone. They're saying that we've got to watch. That was the woke that was 10 o'clock on Saturday night with Lois Perry, Ben Lockname, Pete Barnes, and of course, Father Calvin Robinson and the woke rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right, do you know what? Groovy, you've this You've got to is. be so careful now. If you, you've got your hand like this and suddenly it goes like that and uh, and they cut back to you like I wasn't yeah, expecting. Yeah. <laughs> do that. You can be so, so dangerous. Yeah, lucky you didn't do it. Mm. Or you'd have been in trouble. Oh, we're not on yet. Oh, by the way, if you're a nervous disposition... They're not you're... on yet. Oh, right, good, yeah. No, are we? Oh, yeah, we are. I'm watching the same... Get out now monitor. while you can if yeah. you get nervous. So, anyway, um, you've got to be very careful about how your hands go. Right, let's introduce you to our old friend, Vanity Van Gogh, or Go. Von Glow. Von Glow. Yeah. Who wrote the running order? It's not it's a Steve Wright show. It's, it's always not... mispronounced. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry this. about that. I really am. Sorry. You know, some of these people just don't concentrate. It's true. Yeah, Johnny, if Van you're watching. Gow. Van Gogh. Oh, we'll talk to you tomorrow about this, Johnny, and we won't have to go. Va Vanity Van Gogh has been on the show before. She's great. Uh, she's going to have to disappear a little while because she's working That's true. Tonight. It's a Saturday night. This is yeah. a, a in big Soho, time for is it? Is it Soho? Uh, yes, I'll be in Soho later, yeah. Now, listen, before we talk about some serious stuff, you've got a, a Christmas sing cloud. That's right, yeah. It drags often in the news for all the drama of it Come lately. closer to the mic. Um, you know, there's always a controversy yeah. in recent times. But yeah. actually, I'm an entertainer, so I mm. wanted to put out this song. I wrote it with you in Bedford, who produced it, and uh, it's a Christmas Ooh, song. Bed. He wrote it with me in Bedford, I don't really know. <laughs> he's a, no, he's a lovely man. He lives in Shropshire. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah, it's a Christmas song. And you were in bed with him when he wrote it? There was no bed, sadly. Where did we get the in bed? What does he do in Shropshire? Do I know bed. Shropshire a bit. What's it? It's near Wales, isn't he it? He produces it? music, amongst other things. Yeah, 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 Shall we have a little listen? Yeah, let's, let's do have a listen. Listen. And a watch. And a watch. Here we go. Run.
Ricky, very excellent. Excellent. Hey. You remind me of a well-known movie star, and I'm just trying to think of her now. Cher. No, not Cher. 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 Yeah, it could be Cher. Cher. Yeah. Could it be Cher. Elizabeth Hurley? That was it. Could be Elizabeth could Hurley. Be. I wasn't thinking of Elizabeth Hurley. No, no one ever is. It's, Elizabeth it's, Taylor. It, it, it's a little bit of Elizabeth Taylor. Could be John Elizabeth Collins. Taylor. Could be a bit John Collins. John Dynasty. Collins. Dynasty. Yeah. Alexis. Yeah. Look, you could, it's all yeah. the divas. Also, yeah. dead or alive. You remind us something about a bit uh, of Pete Burns. Pete Burns. I yeah. met him once. He came off a boat, and he was a very charming man. Red, very big lips, yeah. though, didn't he? Remember Let's him. talk about a little bit because you know we're doing news. Let's talk a bit oh, yeah, about news. a controversy. Uh, we're coming up to Christmas time. Yeah. Pantomimes are opening all over the place. Of course. No, no, then. Oh, yes, they are. <laughs> and um, there's still a little bit of controversy, particularly if a straight guy is play, playing a dame in pantomime. And obviously, quite often, they don't like the leading man to be a lady as well. Why are the people getting so upset about this sort of thing? Do you know, people have probably always been upset. There's always been a few people upset about panto, right? Mm. But we never heard about it because we didn't have to go on Twitter and listen to all these people moan. I miss the days before I knew what was happening in everyone else's head. You know, yes. I don't, well, I don't, I don't want to know. Everyone objected to, you know, pan, you were thinking pan pantomime. Pantomime is as British as fish thing. and chips. Yeah, you no know? one ever objected. And it's so frustrating when we inherit these culture wars from America because actually, you try and explain to an American that yeah. everyone takes their kids to see pantomime yeah. every year. They think, what are you talking about? Cause That's where it's all come it. from identity politics and all it, this and sort it, of it's separation. Such a, it's such fun mm. for all the family. I, I mean, I'm looking forward to going to panto. I'm, I'm probably going to go to the Palladium one because I saw it last year. It was so good. Julian yeah. Clary. It's fabulous, you know. Yeah. And it's it's funny because drag does attract, and Panto has bits of drag in it, attracts a lot of this negative publicity. Well, Biggins is always in, in every year. Sort yeah. Of, yeah, and it attracts a lot of this negative publicity. But why we wanted to put out a Christmas song is to remind people drag is entertainment. Mm. I'm not here to force politics down anybody's throat. I'm here to entertain. Does it any go to charity or do you get all of the money? I'm not expecting to make <laughs> any money. <laughs> I'm not expecting yeah, but everyone's to make gonna have their piece of the pie. But if this turns out to be a Grammy Award winning Christmas number one smash, yeah. um then I'll, I'll quid, buy yeah. you a few drinks. Thanks, How's that man. for charity? No, that's, that's good you know, you never ever That's how it works. You, no, that's he, how I'm sorry about rub, this you know, viewers and listeners. This is how the business is, works. Every time somebody comes in here and you think you can get money off them. <laughs> well it works though, doesn't it? And you get a little bit from here and there, it adds up to quite a bit. We have a phrase in Scotland where I'm from, which is that many a mickle max. No, you're not from Scotland. I am from Scotland. Some people think I'm from Ireland. No, I think no. it's because I'm usually drunk. But anyway, uh, many a well, mickle max a mickle. Anyway. So you're quite right. You've got, to, you've got to accumulate. Have you ever done pantomime? I mean, you could play the I, you could play the glamorous leading lady in pantomime, couldn't you? It, so many of my friends do it and are great at it. But I'm not really the family entertainer type. Mm. I'm much more. I like to be off script. Going, kind of, I mean, it's really genius when it's done well. But I, I like doing my uh, I like doing my rock mm. show in Soho. Would you do a rude pantomime? Like Jim Davis and no, 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 no. Cinderella with an S. The problem is, mm. this is completely true. Is I just. I, I don't think I'd be any good at remembering lines. I don't like being constrained. I'm quite yeah. lazy. Also, if you're in a show like Panto, you've got to do it like five nights a week plus a matinee and a Saturday. And I'm right. sorry, but I will be no, in bed. Yeah, exactly. You know, I've done it and I, I yeah. it, it's pretty hard to work. It's, as it's well, hard to work. <laughs> Who, be... he's, uh, yeah. Who's the old... I remember Frankie Howard when I was a kid. I went to see mm. him. Who's the... Who's your... You know, it must have been a while ago, in the 60s. It must have oh, been gosh, like... Oh, I can't remember. Charlie the last Chester, pantomime I Charlie did was Chester in or something 1998 like that. in Halifax. I no, played... but I mean, when you were a kid, who, who was the star Ever that you saw? Are. What star did you see as a kid? You in don't the, in... know the stars. You got the local, local uh, But Frankie one Howard, and... I saw in Wayne Sleep in the yeah, 70s. I, I you must remember who... In the 70s? How old do you think I I was working on the radio in the 70s. No, but when you were a kid in the 60s or 50s, who do you remember any pantomime? No. They no. didn't really have it. They had, ration, they had rationing back Vanity's then. Vanity's only in no, the 20s, you, you, for well, goodness sake. No, no, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> Probably Philip Schofield in your day with the star or something. No, Philip it? Schofield, I was like Edwards. three when he did it. But, but mm. yes, no, I know I wonder if that. he's going to do it this year. <laughs> I have a strong feeling. He, he could do the one with Jim Davis. He might be enjoying some convalescence at the North Pole this year. You never know. With, <laughs> you, Ed, with you, Edwards. It's been quite Does a it? year for that sort yeah. of uh, yeah. Yeah. It? Drama. Do you find it? Do you find it difficult or annoying when the arguments? I saw one on Twitter earlier. Mm. Uh, an American. They're always American. Or was it TikTok? I think it was on TikTok. Thank um, you. Uh, a woman in floods of tears. Pulling her hair out and saying, "I'm binary or I'm non-binary." They all have to get upset and, and then everything. tweet out. They're crying on it. You know, they have to tweet it out. Them crying. Go, look how upset I am. It's weird. Yeah, isn't I mean, it? I, I always think if you can cry and hold a camera at the same time, mm, I'm very suspicious about those crocodile tears. 
Mm. Yeah, I mean, look, people. I guess some people do have a bit of a problem settling into their identity, whatever that is. But I often don't really want to hear. Mm. About when it. did you settle to your identity? I refuse to settle to an Quite identity. Quite right. <laughs> exactly. See, I've only ever met you as a lady. That's right. If I met you as a guy, I, we would probably have a different sort of relationship. Well, we'd well, still know. be fully clothed if that's what you're. Uh, going no, no, for. no, absolutely. Oh, for yeah. goodness sake, I'm far too old. No, for it, that. no, absolutely. But I always my feel day of that's gone. When, sadly. when, I, when I'm uh, in show mode, which I am today, I've come from a show, I'm going to a show. Hmm. Um, what my mind's always thinking of, you know, well, I'm also here to plug a single, so I'm always kind of thinking of of that way of things. Yeah. But it's nice to also meet people when you're in the relaxed mode. You can get a bit more real, and you know, maybe maybe our paths hmm. shall cross, and you'll never know. <sighs> That's what I was thinking about. If you came in here one day, mm. not in drag, mm. would we recognise You would recognise the Mrs Doubtfire voice. Right. That's we'd a very go, good you point. You would go, who's that? Oh, that sounds... Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's, that's very vanity. Scottish. Yeah. So would w the single's going to be available, presumably... Comes out at midnight tonight. Did you write it and pro midnight. who produced it? And R written and produced by myself and Ewan. And, like, I, we've worked on a whole album that will come out next year or an EP... Mm. Um, but that's going to be released as our little band. This is just coming out as me because I thought it's Christmas. Doing this yeah. kind of thing works. The Christmas, the red vanity von yeah, yeah, yeah. glow. That's it. And the song's Look called Everlasting, it. so yeah. I encourage people to listen to it on repeat. Yeah, um, then you get the streaming what, thing. It's on out at midnight, Chuck. You Chuck saying when's well, it? Well, it's out at midnight. Yeah, yeah it's the yeah. same thing. Well, it's out. I'll be after staying midnight up especially. tonight. Yes, oh, yeah. you will. Well, we'll be. You? We'll be up. Yeah. yeah. Midnight tomorrow, right? Mm -hmm. oh, and obviously, you're, you've got this show in the West End, yeah, um, which we haven't been to see, but we're hoping. Yeah. To the arts, see where is it? At? It's at the Phoenix Arts Club every Friday. No, I had my jacket nicked from there. No, offering him that's, free tickets. That's, that's, lovely jacket, that's that where I get, you my, get my jacket, jacket from. Yeah, so. I, thought, I knew it was you. Well, listen, you guys are often on the air when my show is on. Yeah, but, but it, it is absolutely. It's one of the most visual shows in the West End. We're really proud of it. We hope that it will tour at some point. But and it's other cabaret, is it, as well, and things like that? Or is it just... It's power ballads, so it's it's rock anthems. I'm singing it's Aerosmith and Meatloaf. Oh, it's... Ju I don't what's share your, your What's your favourite one? Bat Out Hell. Give me a little bit of Bat Out Hell. Sirens are screaming and the fires are howling way down in the valley tonight. Yeah! It's good, right? We've had meat in the studio a couple of times. Meatloaf. Yeah, we had him in Not a couple lately. of times. But um, no. he's very no, raucous. He hasn't he called is. us back in a while, has he? We've, we've put a call in. <laughs> like, I imagine he's hard to He's not with us anymore. Well, break it to me gently. <laughs> <laughs> He's not been with us for man. a while, but he was a great guy. He was very raucous, very raucous, yeah, funny, funny yeah, man. Uh, listen, we've got to go for a break, and you've got to go for a show. I do. Uh, and uh, so Friday, where is it on uh, Friday Every night? Every Friday in Soho, you can find me at the Phoenix Arts Club with Drag right. Queen. You said Carol that already. Oh, I know, but I listen. It's, it's incredible. And listen, I want you to have a Get very a Merry Christmas, midnight. and I hope that you'll be rocking around the Christmas tree to my single. We will. Not only, a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Just worry about sake. that. Vanity, thank you very much indeed. Thanks. And we are going to come one Friday. Come what may. Well, thank we you. might do. We'll see. We'll take a break. How are you going to stop the votes? This is an international problem. How's that going for your party? I'm a millennial. You're a Victorian, I think. Your illness helps weather people. I'm going to help the vet's office. <laughs> I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals to using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. 
for the amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you should have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. He's on <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your ideology? This has been a party political broadcast uh, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm I'm going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Can Are you prepared you? to call is Hamas a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. It's the world's number one interview show, the new global home of big debates and big questions. This is really unfair. Why? We'll explain why. For all the big names. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. You're going to, you're going to resign? Yeah, of course, I cannot continue my work. Did you feel Elvis was a controlling influence on you? And the good news? You've already found it. All new Piers Morgan Uncensored, right here, Monday to Thursday, 8 p.m. Uh, very good evening. Welcome back to uh, the final hour of yeah. uh, Unleashed Whale with Ash. Give us a bell on this uh, number. Yep. Don't leave me hanging. Call. And uh, if you've called us once leave and got cut hanging. off, don't bother to ring there again. Zero three four 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 nine nine one thousand. Luke in Hampshire. Luke, you're on the air. Hello, James. Hello, Hello. Ash. How are you feeling? Hello. What can we do for you, Luke? What do you want to talk about? Oh, uh, talking about your opinion. Of I believe the BBC licence fee is a scam because... Thank you very much <laughs> indeed. Bye-bye. Well, it's not a scam, but it's not, not worth a scam it. At it's all. not worth it. Some people think. just talk rubbish, don't they? The BBC is a tax which is unnecessary because it is actually a poll tax. Michael in uh, Salford. Michael, good evening. Michael? Hello? Yes, Hi. Michael. What can we do for you? Could, I, could you give me your opinion on Nelson Mandela? Yeah. On, on Nelson Mandela? Give him your opinion on Nelson it. Mandela started out as a terrorist and then became a um, uh, a man who tried to bring both sides in South Africa together. He was fighting apartheid, wasn't he? Yes. What did he say? He's fighting apartheid, yeah. He did, yeah. Is the correct answer. Is the correct answer. And are you now going to drag us into this, well, there's apartheid in the no, Middle you're not East? You're going to do that, are you? Oh, we are to do that. Oh, are you, oh, you are, are you? Well, it's uh, really, <laughs> really not worth he's doing. One, he's a one-sided. He's a one-sided, right? Are Israel paying your money? Did black right. people get become high court judges bye bye, in Michael. South Africa? No, I'm not. No, I'm not they even, didn't. I'm, did not, I'm not even going to no. tolerate people like that. No. It's not one-sided at all, and that's what not worries apartheid. me. Yeah. You know, um, if there could be a two-state solution and both live happily ever after together, that would be great. As I understand it, Israel had to put up um, uh, barriers because yeah, of the yeah. fighting that continued to go on. Right. Uh, let's talk to Karen in London. Hello, Karen, you're on the air. What can we do for you? Oh, my 
my God. Um, I just... Uh... Do you mind not being blasphemous? I mean, honestly. I'm really, really sorry about She's that. She's overcome by being on, on the TV, isn't it? Well... Because I've just come back from the pub. I'm She's all drunk as well. Curry, and I'm with all my friends, mm. and I just want to say... Hi, James and Asha. Hi! Hi. I just want to say that I really like Ash. Yeah. And I have been... Um, twist. No, you've got to turn it down. <laughs> yeah, don't turn it up. Just um, go. <clears throat> get, get them all I to cheer. Get them all to say hello. Go on. To um, contact him, and he yeah. doesn't um, oh. be back. Karen, get them all to say at virtual Ash. Hello to at, Ash. On Twitter at virtual Ash. Virtual Ash. Okay, and now, now tell us the pub you've been in. Must be very drunk. Okay, no, I'm, do you know what? I don't even drink. I'm a teetotal. Quite right. Wow. Uh, Karen, I apologise for my rude Sorry, friend. Karen. Sorry, Karen. Um, what what pub were you were you in? The Park Tavern in Eltham, SE9. Oh yeah. In yeah. Eltham. Oh. Not yeah. not far from where he lives, so he could get over there oh, quite easily, about couldn't an you? Hour. It's about an hour's drive. Yeah. 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 So and you know what? What? <laughs> he won't be disappointed. <laughs> well, well, I'll see you in about an hour. You then. won't be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm uh, sure not in, in Eltham. Yeah. Oh, that's a very How good How many point. friends would have you, you got with you? Would you share him with your friends? No, no, no. What? I can have him on my own. Oh, right, OK. Um, we are they're, they're seriously... All your friends will mind. They'll be we hurt, are seriously yeah. trying to get him married off before he gets she much She doesn't older. want marriage, do you? You don't want a marriage, do you? Or do you? I'm single. You're what? I'm single. She's single. And ready to mingle. I'm well, obviously. She's single your, and ready to mingle. She wants to mingle. Uh, and I've got hair like um, Ash. Well, mine's curly, well, isn't it? virtual Ash, you, <laughs> what celebrity do you look like? So we can visualise um, it. Who do I look like? Who? I think that sounds slightly rude. Marilyn. Marilyn. What, yeah. the, the 80s pop star or Marilyn Monroe? Mind you, they were both good looking, weren't they? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was wrong with Marilyn Monroe? No, I'm, well, no, I'm, I mean, Susie, Susie Kennedy, who They're does Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, it doesn't matter, actually. Yeah. Hello. 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 Fantastic Hello. news. Yeah, well, follow me at Virtual Ash well, and listen, we'll, we can get in contact. It's been very nice, girls, and maybe we'll talk to you again. And if... If you send some photographs... If and Ash... Front and back. Oh, no, I didn't... No. no, no. Well, but he is seriously to everybody looking for a wife... Oh, he is Marilyn, the yeah. 80s pop star. Um, right, Karen, thank you for that. Uh, I don't wish to be inappropriate, but vanity is giving me... The yeah, horn. That is very, Four. very, Doesn't very from. inappropriate. Yeah. OK, listen, let's... Uh, we'll go back to the calls. Keep ringing us. 0344 We'll take some more calls in a moment. Uh, text us 87222. Start your text with the word talk. And you can find us, of course, on social media on X... Uh, at Talk Radio. And they join as well at Virtual Ash. Yeah, find us in all those places. Now, uh, let us talk uh, to Carl McCartney. Carl McCartney, uh, Conservative MP for Lincoln, because mm. not only are certain areas cancelling Christmas trees in the in the centre of their their towns and villages, um, even complaining about pantomimes as we talk about the word Anthony. Christmas, they can't yeah. call it Christmas. And, and which is just totally stupid. Apparently, uh, one of the biggest um, Christmas markets ever has uh, been shut down mm. because it's too popular in Lincoln. Now, I don't know who did the running order, but I am sacking them after this show because, Carl, good evening. Good evening to you, James. I've got you and down I... as a oh, Labour man. MP and as a Conservative MP. So which would you prefer to be? It covers all, but they both anyway these days. Well, you, uh, take, take a look at me, James. Um, the fact is, a yeah, Tory, I'm, isn't I'm, it? A, Tory. I'm a Conservative yeah. member yeah. of Parliament, yeah. but it's a Labour city council that cancelled our right. Christmas market, right. unfortunately. OK. Um, why would they do that? If it's, if it's successful, surely that's going to help Lincoln in every single way. Yeah, it's, it's hard to fathom why, why they've done it. There's obviously various things you can say that the Labour Party believes in, but actually I think it's probably because it's easier to cancel it than to actually do some hard work and, and make it safe because they've used the excuse that it wasn't safe because there's too many people and it was too popular. But there's bigger events than Lincoln's Christmas Market that are held around the country. So what reason do you think it really is then? 
Well, I, th I think it's. I think the, personally, I think the the Labour councillors who are in charge will still get the same allowances that they get, whether there's a Christmas market or not, and the senior officers will still get their salaries and their pensions. Won't be affected by not having a Christmas market, but the business rate payers and the council taxpayers in Lincoln who enjoy having a Christmas market after 40 years, we had one of the longest Christmas markets that's been in existence in the UK, uh, are not going to benefit from having but that. Why have they not? You haven't said why they've why well, they've three done angles, it. Well, yes, but 300,000 people coming yeah. must bring so much money yeah. into the town Millions. that these Labour well, councillors you're basically saying are too damn lazy to uh, put out all the organisation they need to do. You, you might think that, James, I couldn't possibly comment, of course, but yeah, yeah. it's... Um, but you I'm could quite happy to Is that, what they, is that why they won't do it? Because it, yeah. it's a headache to organise. Yeah. Is that why? Yeah, because but basically that's it. I've, I've spoken to various people who are involved, if you like, with the different, like the castle, the cathedral, the mm. various locations that the Christmas market is based at. Everybody wants to see it come back. The, the Labour councillors were actually given an easy out by the Conservative councillors a couple of weeks ago at a council meeting. They said, could we just... There was a debate and there was a motion to just talk about how a safer Christmas market could be put back in place for December 24. It's nothing every to do with political correctness, is it, or religion or anything? Well, every single Labour councillor to a man and woman voted against that motion. The Labour mayor who voted against that motion then went to our twin town where they got the idea of a Christmas market from, which is Neustadt in Germany, he then went to Neustadt last weekend to enjoy the Christmas market in mm. Neustadt, <laughs> having denied everybody in Lincoln the opportunity of having a Christmas market. Terrible, Let's, um, let me ask you a few other questions unrelated to this, uh, because I think Far we've away. done the Christmas... Well, you could, ask, you, could ask, you could ask me if I... I wouldn't mind going down to the pub in Elton with Ash, actually, to meet Karen. I think yeah, that man, sounds quite... Well, yeah. I would let you Plenty two do that. Plenty for everybody. I would let you two do that. Uh, my time of that no. is over now. I'm too old. No, James, yeah. you'll come along. with us, man. Can I come, come too? Along, James, yeah. Free. Oh, yeah. Great. <laughs> what do you think about the uh, students' union in Bristol banning the um, the the, uh, the national anthem? Banning the national anthem. Well, that's not really on, is it? Yeah. Um, we we all love singing the, the national anthem, whether it's at a you know a football game, whether it's in like we do quite often in the cathedral in Lincoln, um, or what, whatever events it might be, um, and. We're all proud to be English, yeah, English men and women, and I, I don't know why Bristol has done that, but they they unfortunately have a history of doing things a little bit. Well, they pulled a statue out. down, didn't they? They're mm. a bit funny. But why that. why are we going through this stage where we've just been talking? I won't drag you into this too much uh, about the the uh, amount of anti-Semitism that seems to have involved this country now, where if you happen to be Jewish, you're frightened to walk out on the streets uh, alone or. And you That's know. a horrible place to be in change. Now, I, I, I was lucky enough to be elected the Member of Parliament um, back in 2010, and it sort of started bubbling away around 13, 14. I was, I was on the Transport Select Committee, and a lovely Labour MP called Louise Elman was the chairman of that, uh, MP for Riverside in Liverpool, saw my part of the world, I'm a plastic scouser, yeah. was born in Birkenhead. We'll maybe cover that later. Yeah. Um, and um, just I could just see it happening. I was talking to Louise before one, one meeting, and she was getting quite upset, and she eventually stood down as a Labour MP because of the hate that she was getting. And that's mm -hmm. five, six, seven, eight years ago. I, I, now, call me naive and I'm involved in politics, but I thought all that sort of stuff had, had gone away. I thought we're in the 21st century. It's been imported, uh, hasn't it, though? It's been imported over 25 years and it's got well, to a I think, critical I think level. it was just bubbling under the surface, to be honest. It's, well, it was um, always bubbling, but now that other people have come in, they've, they've gained strength and momentum. Which actually well, has... Potentially, sorry. but, but the, the, the hard left in the Labour Party seemed to have always had those views, you know? It was a horrible place you know, to be. No, they were pro-Israel in the 70s when Israel was the underdog. They changed in sort of the 80s and 90s. They used to all go on kibbutzim and stuff, didn't they, um, in, the, in the old days? Yeah, and you could obviously, say that Carl all isn't old enough to run. He's not old, you're not old enough, Carl. I'm having a little dig at my dad then by saying all Evertonians support the underdogs, but um, that's <laughs> well, you know. um, Carl, really. Carl, let's. Uh, sorry, I'd love to, uh, to to spend a bit of time talking about football, but I don't know anything about it. Up the villa, um, doing great. <clears throat> let me ask you this: uh, the the small boat situation. Rishi is getting himself into all kinds of deep water. All the politicians seem to be saying to the people of this country now is, we can't actually do anything that you want. When are, when are they going to listen to us? We don't want people coming into this country illegally. They're coming in here well, illegally. They are therefore criminals. Why do we not have our Navy patrolling the uh, channel and, uh, and sending them back? Why are we just allowing them to come here and then we the taxpayer, are expected to pay millions and millions and millions of pounds. Eight million a day. After them. Eight you, you're right, James. It is a, it is a phenomenal amount. And unfortunately, 
Well, I, you know, I make the political point um, that we stood on a, you know, we have done on a, on a number of general elections, stood on a manifesto where we were going to lower uh, illegal immigra immigration. And we have done more recently. The Not numbers really. coming up votes has gone down by a third, but there's still two thirds to go. So we, ha we, you know, we haven't achieved what we want to, but we said we we're going to do it. But every time the Conservative Party in government since 2019 has brought, and it, it, going back even further, have brought any changes to the law, to the regulations that are in place, the Labour Party mm. voted against. That's every yeah. single time. Yeah. Now, the, Sorry. Just, just, can I just, just wish Rishi, Rishi is the Prime Minister. He knows, because plenty of us, backbenchers like me, have been telling him for quite a while, and all the others involved in government, so all the people he appoints, that we need to get this done. And we know that we need to get it done. And, you know, time is running out. There's a general election coming. You need Braverman, or you need someone else, you need a new leader before that. He's never going to win, is he, sooner? I mean, hang on. The, the fact is this. <coughs> you could... These people could be stopped coming in illegally. Also, we have to have to control the number of people coming legally because that's uh, also a problem. We, we don't do. have enough housing, we don't have enough education, we don't have enough Bringing in a city the size of Birmingham every so year nearly. So why don't we just have a couple of patrol boats in the channel turning them back? And if France wants to get a bit antsy about it, well, they can, but they can't do anything. Well, well, Fr France is a bit of a problem. You have to say, you know, Albania, the numbers from Albania coming to the UK... I understand got, that. Got it's been Belgium no. managed to stop it. Why can't France? Well, it's been, it's, as I said, cut by 90% of the numbers. There aren't any, I won't say any, there are very minimal numbers of small boats launching from Belgium. Why is that? Because yeah. the Belgian authorities have stopped it. Exactly. And, the, and it could very easily be done. The French could do it. We didn't have to want... give them half a billion pounds either. No, we wouldn't have to. Last but, question. You know, Look, sorry, on. last question. Why sorry. will our government and why will the opposition not put some legislation through so no more people i live on the south coast i can tell you a lot are coming through it rather depends on the weather um and this time of year not as many come through but they're coming and it's a small invasion force why will nobody in parliament understand why the people of this country are worried Pl plenty of us do james certainly from if you like the and it's a broad spectrum and yes the conservative party is a broad church but there's ever-increasing numbers of the Conservative members of Parliament who are getting quite frustrated with the way things are. There will be a vote on Tuesday evening. You'll see, I think, a major change um, after that vote because things have to happen. Do you and agree with what Suella Braverman said? Do you, do you agree with Suella Braverman? Uh, mostly, but she said some things that, some, that I, I wouldn't say myself, but it depends exactly what you're saying. Well, what do you do think I she agree? shouldn't have said that she said? Well, there's just some things that maybe the, the language wasn't correct. But there's people like, you know, Rob Jenrick. He's not a million miles away from me. The area yeah. he represents is Newark. Um, and I understand why he said, you know, I, I, you know, it's not what he wanted. And it's not actually what quite a few of us would want. We, but you have to be pragmatic. Mm -hmm. It's what we can achieve, it, you know, with Rwanda. I think it's mm -hmm. what the Rwandans are going to accept. Waste of when you, money. Mm -hmm. Total waste of never money. never going to happen, is it? Or work? You know, 200... Well, no, James, you, you might say that, but actually... Once it starts, you get some flights taking off, taking people to Rwanda. I don't think there'll be any more boats coming than already. But once it's full of 200 people, or however many the maximum is, everyone will go, oh, that's full up in Rwanda, we can go to Britain now. No, I don't, I don't think so. That's not going to happen. I think it's... Um, only a few if, you, if you want to get in the next election, let me help you. Uh, we can go. help you. It's we might very just easy. be able to help you. Get I welcome you to Lincoln any time, both of you. Get the British Army, Navy, Air Force protecting this nation... Because yeah. people are just walking into this country, and that isn't mm, protecting literally. our borders. Yeah. Well, this, this is where the, 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 the bill on Tuesday that's going to be presented, the, the Prime Minister's already announced, etc. Um, we are now a sovereign nation. We aren't part of the EU. That's what part of Brexit was about. That's why people like me, back in my first term, yeah. um, but to have you know the changes that were put in place, put the pressure on David Cameron back then. We then had a referendum. People like me voting for... But 600,000 net migration every year is not sovereign nation, is it? A city the size of nearly Birmingham every year coming. And we're not building a city every year, are we? Uh, we're not. And that's another thing. Well, we can get on to house building. We can talk about house building, whether we're building enough houses. Not just houses, kitchen. the whole infrastructure. Well, I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll invite you on to the programme. Uh, when you're up in London one Saturday, come into the studio and we'll talk more about it, OK, mate? I'll see you in Eltham in an hour. James, James, I, I seriously would love to do that. You won't know this, James, but back in the mid-80s, I was going. I was a younger man then, obviously, uh, 16, 17, 
having a difficult time. I used to listen to you on the radio back then, and you used to make me think of lots of other things than than the bad things that were going on in my life at that time. Good. Well, so I'm thank you very much for that. Naughty, it's been a long Carl. Time to get to see to you. I, to say to you, thank you very much for that. I'm I'm very glad that I could. I help think it was you. a good thing that helped. Carl, thank you very you. much indeed. Uh, let's go to the call. Cindy is in uh, Michigan. Michigan, USA. It's pronounced Michigan. Hi, Mr. Whale. Mr. Whale, Ash, it's a pleasure. Thank you for taking my call. How do you do? It's a pleasure. I wanted to talk to you about your humanity, okay? There oh, isn't a lack thanks, of man. humanity. There is not a lack of humanity on both of your parts. I think the problem is with the woke's lack. The woke <laughs> has a lack <laughs> of understanding for their history. So they like to perceive who they think is the underdog, and they think they're protecting the underdog. But it's their perception, and when you don't know your history, you might get it a little twisted here. Have you got as many woke I, people in the USA as we have oh, here? They've got oh it God. worse. Oh, uh, we have it worse. No, I think. Well, no, I think it's a tie. It is, but it was invented think, in America, wasn't it, at the universities? Yes, where now we've yes, seen anti semitism Harvard, yes. and Penn. What happens is it gets started here in America and it travels yeah. to Europe. Yes. And, but you know what's what's weird is is Europe gets the fashion first. We get it last. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you don't yeah, you don't like taking stuff from us, well we take everything yeah. from you. Yeah. When I used to go to the States, yeah. I used to go to the bargain bins and that was all the fashionable stuff in the bargain bins. Yes, the yes, yeah, the record stuff. shops and, yeah. yeah. Canal Street the gyms. music. Yeah, man, the music. Yeah. What's the weather oh, like in Michigan yeah. at the moment? I bet it's cold. It's cold. It is. Yeah. It's cold, but I love it. I'm, I'm not a sun person at all, no. believe it or not. I like I like the I like sun, but only as, yeah, only as hot as it gets here. We get a couple of days in the 30s every year. Oh, and I know. James. Mr. Whale, I lived in Surrey for a little bit, a in few Surrey. months. In Surrey? Whereabouts? Yeah, in Frimley, Frimley, oh, Kimberley, Frimley, yeah. Oh. Surrey. Yeah, a little there, village there. there. Yeah, our technical yeah. operator's getting very excited, said, I live in Camberley. Yeah. I live in Camberley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, but Cindy's not there yeah, anymore. I've been there. It's beautiful. I've got no. so many guys wanting to no. be married off around here, I can't tell you. But I mean, I have you got the to get married. have you yeah. got the problem that we've got over here with people in hotels? You have, haven't you? In 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 you know what? That started you, not before, not before, but yeah. recently. Yes, I heard in New York, getting, all the hotels are booked out. Yes, yes, Fantastic. and people and the residents got upset. Oh. It's like a world plan, uh, yeah. isn't it? It's like there's a world plan. It's, it but, you know, you America think. is so much bigger than us. Yeah. We are a small country with a very large population. But they're getting millions of immigrants, yeah, aren't I they, know, every but, year? Well, yeah, but well, it, Go on. But it won't take long before we get filled up, too. Will Trump win, then? Will Trump you be know? the next president? Do you think? Um, you know, I, I, would, I would love... Can I say who I love? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. yeah. Personally? Okay, personally, um, Kennedy, who is running. I he like di him. He died in 1963. No, not oh, no, Kennedy. No, no, <laughs> he has a nephew. He's yeah, got a nephew. Right, yeah. Robert, isn't it? Robert Jr., is it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, and, and I like I like I tend to like his views. I think Trump's a little extreme. I like a person in the middle. But don't we in need a bit of extreme? Because you know? there wouldn't be all these wars like with Russia if Trump was in power. Because mm -hmm. no one knows what he's going to do. True, true, but he, uh, he's a little. He, he gets a little extreme. A little uh -huh. extreme. I'm I'm right in the center, you know. Mm. Um, and I would I would love if you guys had um, Ellie J. Keen on. I. Oh, we have her on every now and then. We have her on all the time. We, we yeah. get her on yeah. all the time. Yeah. That, yeah. that woman is my hero. We had Ollie London on earlier. Did you see we had Ollie London? We will listen. We'll get we'll get yes. back. We'll get back to you. You call us again. Um, we're gonna say bye bye now, Cindy. Thank you for that. We have we have millions of viewers last week or the week before yeah, we in America. Have a nice uh, day. Yes, Dave in Burnley, and then we need a break. Dave, good evening. Oh, James, it's Dave. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Has anybody? Has anybody ever questioned about uh, uh, closing all the borders in Europe? Please, probably half I don't know. Has anyone ever asked us that? Um, I don't think anybody's ever asked us that, but uh, a number of countries 
in Eastern Europe who are members of the European dictatorship have decided they don't want to be bombarded and have closed That's their borders. Poland have, it? But I don't think France mm. has. They want to get it? out of the Schengen Agreement now, yeah. a lot of places, because of yeah. the mess it's in. And, you know, the fact is that, um, what's her name? Who was the uh, woman in charge of Germany? Do you remember? Merkel. Merkel, yeah. Angela, Angela Merkel. Merkel. Angela and Merkel. Yeah. She, uh, she yeah. just opened the gates and let every mm. single person in. And, and now uh, they can get anywhere in Europe because of the Schengen Agreement. Now, of course, uh, cultures are becoming alienated with each other and mm. people are expecting to be uh, looked people after and attacked. supported. So cultures. it's a very good point, David. Let's close the borders everywhere, resort ourselves out and then start, start handling again. immigration properly again. David, thank you very much indeed. We must take a break. Very good morning, it's just gone six o'clock. I'm Jeremy Kyle. And I'm Nicola Thorpe. Welcome to Talk Today. We're here! Thanks for joining us. You're with Talk TV on TV, on radio, online. We're on your smart speaker as well. Criminals using XL bully dogs as weapons to threaten others. No matter how well trained, most dog owners will tell you a dog can turn. Do you know what I love about Talk Today? We do it all. Sunak, Suella, scones. I rather like David Cameron. I don't sort of bear him any ill will because he delivered the referendum that he said he would deliver. The Tories love a scrap. You can almost see this coming round the tracks with Suella Braverman. She's heading up one side and Rishi soon at the other. The police are pro-Palestine. That is just not right. You swear an oath in the police to act without fear or favour. The Covid inquiry seems to have turned into a sort of pantomime. There's not really any substance to it. It's hard to know whether it's a farce or a tragedy. The amount of time it's taken, the number of illegal migrants currently sent by us to Rwanda, zilch. The amount of money it's cost, we're saying, what are we saying it's cost? About 140 million. 140 million pounds so far. So 140 million pounds so far result nil, absolutely nil. Are we only going to be trusting sources like Meta and Google? Where is our unbiased news going to come from? Calais in winter is cold. <laughs> <laughs> that is from the Jeremy Corbyn book. Kevin O'Sullivan is the worst presenter on Talk TV. Sitting on his fat ass <laughs> talking for a living. If you're walking towards me and you're a vegan, you have a great big orange sticker over here saying, watch out, vegans about. The weirdest plank that we've had in, what, yeah. three years? Hundreds and hundreds of mice in a box, which he walks into a branch of McDonald's. McMouse Man. McMouse Man, yeah. McMouse Man. He should be easy enough to catch this guy, shouldn't he? I mean, he's got a house full of mice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is a major summit. President Biden decided this was important after watching a Tom Cruise film. Sunak and the current Conservative government are not conservative. Why don't you leave that party and come to one that actually shares oh, your this ideologies? This has been a party political broadcast ah, on behalf no, of I the don't. Reform UK party. Hi, I'm Ofcom. Just, just... Kids think all they have to do is take pictures of everything. Just shut down TikTok. Problem solved. This is really unfair. What's, what, what's unfair? If it's on camera, we're not doing the interview. Yes, I'm going to do. I'm I'm going to, you're going to resign? Yes, because I cannot continue my work. When I say I am God, I'm not joking. Did you feel Elvis was controlling? I've been answering your question, you answer mine. It's actually not my job to answer your questions. Just Are you prepared you. to call is Hamas a terror group? Is it possible to have a rational you can't, can you? Use? I've asked you two questions. Should Hamas stay in power and are they a terror group? You're refusing to answer either of them. They that won't. is very telling. Talk TV, it's the only place where you get the truth. You've done a book on poetry. Poetry and music for the many. I love poetry, we can agree on that. Ever feel like you're not part of the conversation? That you're not getting the full picture on the important issues? Or the stories that impact your life? Jim, who was on in the last hour waiting a year for a heart operation, blew us out of the water. Well, at Talk TV, we cover the issues you care about. I would love to give the nurses a massive pay rise. Give them one, then. With proper debate and argument, we tell it how it really is. And have some fun along the way. Talk TV for the stories that matter. 
Hi. Welcome back. Uh, you are watching and listening the James Whale Show Unleashed on Saturday night live. Uh, 10 o'clock in uh, the... 7 o'clock in the evening to 10 o'clock. Uh, and welcome all of you. But if you're easily upset, then, of course, you uh, shouldn't be watching this. Connie complaints. We get, at the end of the programme, our producer, yeah. uh, who uh, is known to all his fans as Chuck. Chuck Thomas, if we you want We don't know his real name. No, no. it's not his real name. And so we get him to come in and we do something called... Um, what is it? Called? Whale Chill. mail. Uh, whale mail, yeah. I was going to cue in the jingle then. What jingle? We haven't got one. No, we don't have a jingle. It's hallucinating. That again. would have been embarrassing. Mm. Well, in that case, we need a jingle for whales mail. We shall have one next week from your friend Bob. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, good Bob. Okay. Um, but before we get into whale mail, I want to talk about the BBC because obviously the BBC never do anything wrong. No. They're such an amazing corporation, uh, a bastion to what now, we you, should you, all. You, you've got to aim for. watch out for, for future employment or not. No, I've never worked. Me. You know what? what? Twenty-five years, I've never worked at the BBC. It's probably explained. You wouldn't them want the to now. It doesn't have the I cachet. I never wanted to. Hmm. Well, I never liked the Even idea bit, yeah. that you, you had to do a certain job, and then if you were lucky, you then yeah. somehow work up to. You can't do a bit. There's of no things. banter when you go in the office. They're yeah. all quiet because they're worried you know, about what they might say. For one year. Year, and I'd forgotten all about this. We should find some old bits. Mm. For one year, I did a lunchtime phone in on BBC One from oh, Pebble yes. Mill. Yes, I remember that. I, can't, I, oh, I you just came called back me. To I was down the I road. I could find you some clips of that. Yeah, but they destroyed that building. That. They've got rid well, of it. Well, the show wasn't that bad. Actually, that building was destroyed because it was asbestos. Oh, is that why? It was asbestos. Oh, my God. Pebble Mill. I used to go in there, man. Yeah, so did I. Well, I, then we... I worked checked. on the Ed Doolan show. You remember Ed? I Ed remember Ed Doolan. He was a mate of his. I did my work experience. E-double-D-double-O-L-A-N. That's Ed Doolan. Yeah. I used to go over to, uh, was, Ma was it Manchester? He was on, or Birmingham? Birmingham. 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 I used to go Huge and fill in for him. No, I know, I used to yeah, go and fill in. Very nice guy. When I went on, uh, when he went Unless on holiday... Unless you crossed him. I went and, I went and did the, his show. And he'd be a yeah. worse yeah. enemy. And Ozzy, who was taken over by the hearts of one in Birmingham. Yeah. yeah. Ozzy. Oh, and Ozzy, Ozzy, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, Ozzy, so yeah. Uh, BBC's in the news. They never yeah. do anything wrong, but this yeah. week, for the first time ever, the BBC did one thing wrong and it was the news presenter called Mariam Mashiri, and she was swearing at the production team, and she was caught out. Let's have a look at this. Oh, dear. Live from London, this is BBC News. Britain's former Prime Minister Boris Johnson apologises for the pain and loss suffered in the UK during the coronavirus. But doesn't that mean news is at that, one? She was just saying news. Yes, at so, really so guys, let's swearing. make sure we never do that. Never get caught out. Oh never no, James! Oh, sorry, sorry. oh no, James! Oh, well, sorry. no, I've sorry. done it with that finger, which uh, is legal. Oh, sorry, is that finger legal? Yeah. For all the listeners, I'm really sorry. You, James what you do was with swearing. It. We didn't see it coming. That's not swearing. That's what? gesturing, gesticulating. Mm. Yeah. You now have to give an apology like Mariam Mashiri did. If you were offended, I am very sorry. I didn't mean to do it. But it's not very professional, but Churchill it? used to do that everywhere, didn't he? you go like that. No, not like that. You did that with aggression. But in America... you just go, mm, and then it meant victory. That's peace. Victory. Peace. peace. Victory. Yeah. You've got to turn your arm around like that. Oh, it does It's to the show the archers me. that you were an archer to the <laughs> French originally. That was why. to show Because they used stone. to cut your fingers yeah. off the French yeah. so you couldn't arch. Yeah. So if you were an archer and you were fed up with the French... Well, you're a you famous archer, archer you? I went like that. No, don't do, do like Churchill. Victory. That's more acceptable. It's in um, right now. Shall okay. we do a bit of whale mail? Yeah, yeah. go on. Peace. So whale mail this week, uh, we got quite a lot because there's two things you did. You had an interview with Jackson Hinkle or Jackson Hickle. I don't know. Last I don't week, really care. It went got viral. millions of people I think, watching. I think you've got two and a half million viewers alone on Twitter. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people are upset with you. So Very uh, really? uh, we, we've upset. got Mr. Blue Tick. If this interview went just a little bit more, these old grumpies would have a heart attack. Well, really? he must mean you. I mean, yeah. Well, no, I think um, he means you. Rahid Bahedbi. Uh, Rahid says, is this a real live show? <laughs> these two clowns on the left look like they've just walked out of a pub. We're not on the left. Well, we had to actually just oh, dare he insult us that we're <laughs> on the uh, left? Uh, and then all of these are in response to a tweet you put out yesterday complaining <clears> about <throat> migrants. You said migrants uh, who are coming across the channel should be on the bus. criminals. They are. Yeah. And a lot of people are upset, so this is the response you, you know, got. And I actually put out the number, said I'll be on talk, TV and radio. Yeah. If you want to ring me but and But they're not going to watch the show because you've upset them. No, they're the ones who watch it the most. They'll be watching uh, it. It's a criminal offence to break into this country. So Johnny Lifham says, imagine waking up in the morning... Johnny and who? Johnny Lifham. Do you think that's his real name? Yeah, yeah, it's his real name. Hi, Johnny! Hi, uh, imagine Johnny. waking up in the morning and realising that you are James Whale and you hate everybody. Well, he's done that. What's it like? Yeah, what's Tell it us. like? It's great. Yeah. <laughs> 
Fabulous. <laughs> um, F Society Who? says F Society. Is that his name? No, F meaning... Yeah. Frank Society. Yeah, you see, if yeah. somebody sends me and I see them, because yeah. they send so many, I just block the buggers. Wow, that must, be, that must take you all day. No, I mean, I watch it a few times, you get a few rude ones, but you think the better, the ruder the more wound up oh, they're yeah, going to be. Well, you're, you're like this. And I bet ja you're watching. James Whale is an arrogant and pompous man. I remember him from his days on Talk <laughs> Shite. The man lies through his teeth and is so up Israel's bum, it's embarrassing. I could actually sue you for that. Which bit is Because you're true? not up Israel's <laughs> bum. I'm not up anybody's bum. How would you get up Israel's but, bum? But, I don't know. Well, but going, going back to the bit before mm, that. Going back the to the, Read the bit before that. You'd go through one of the tunnels, wouldn't Chucky, you? Of course. Chuck, through Chuck, Egypt. Chuck, Chuck, Sorry, what's Read that? the bit before that. Uh, I remember him from his days on Talk Shite. Mm. Uh, the man I mean, lies to his shite. Right, stop there. Now, if you can prove I lie, then you get in touch. But I will find your address yeah. and I will get my legal team to get in touch with you. And that's Ash, isn't it? It was Talk Shot UK. <laughs> it the was. Different, it uh, was. The brand. Uh, I think James like Whale, uh, Barney Clifton. Barney Clifton. Not Bernie Clifton. No, right. Barney Austin. Clifton. <laughs> I think James Whale is one of the most antagonistic people in England. I've never been a fan. He always seems to be on the wrong side. How can he know that much if he's not a fan? Well, no. he knows a lot about you. Well, you're on the wrong side. Maybe you should swap. Yeah, no? you're right. Maybe I should swap. Maybe that's where you've been going wrong. Mm -hmm. Could be. Uh, Cookie Stan... Uh, says, can everybody stop referring to James Whale as a human? He is inhumane. That's Cookie Stan. Well, whoever you are, Cookie Stan, as well, you're a bit of an idiot too, aren't you? But you have I mean, to be human to be see, inhumane, in, don't you? Really? In, in that's fairness, true. Yeah, I am giving human. those people who talk... What was that word? Shite? Talk um, shite. We don't work for them anymore. No, no. We don't, and, and, and it isn't. It well, it wasn't uh, successful but, because it was hard to talk shite for 25 hours a day. Just no, talking it was all right. It was very good, at it? No, it was natural. Hang on, hang on. Very true. It's lovely the way that you go on and talk uh, in detrimental ways, but you <laughs> always watch yeah. and listen. Yeah, you're our bread and Thank butter, you. you are. I'm going to block all those. Yeah. Uh, this is from Diana Osborne. Yeah. It's a nice one. Oh, is it? Oh, we no, need no. more James Whale as he speaks for us, and of course I love his show. Saturday Night with Ash is brilliant. Thank you. She thinks much. the show's called Saturday Night with Ash. Yeah, that's the yeah. show, Saturday it's, Night with Ash, featuring not. James <laughs> Wales. Um, but, listen, uh, so many of my colleagues read out things that say, oh, you're so wonderful, you're doing such a great well, show. Well, I tried to do that, I only found one, though. Yeah, uh, we don't get those. I, I don't, don't want to do that, I bet you Well, it's lucky, because we don't get them. Uh, this is from Wendy Parkin. A uh, suggestion for a reality TV oh, show. Oh. James Whale or any other racist bigot goes to Swindon. Stop now. <laughs> that is actionable. Well, that from, is actionable. That's from Wendy Parkin. Wendy Parkin, I am going to take... I am not a racist. And, and, or a bigot. Uh, uh, or oh, a no, bigot. maybe the big... No. no. And I'm going to take action. A small gut. Give me that... that I want to see the... I want to copy it on my phone. I'll, I'll, no, I'll, I'm seriously going to do it. I'll send you the you're screen grab. Now. Uh, yeah, but basically, she, now. she wants you to spend a week working uh, at Refugee Council uh, and learn the facts about the asylum system. I don't need to learn the facts about the asylum system, you stupid yeah. person. I'm getting sick and tired. Got time for that. Probably a wokeist. <laughs> probably somebody who mm. is um, in their twenties or thirties. Probably somebody who doesn't understand yeah. anything. An idealist. I think everybody she should looks like come a, here. an elderly lady. Well, they do these days, the kids, because they spend their time all in a dark room. I am not having that at all. A lot of them are elderly. Uh, I'm elderly. Well, they're bitter, the older ones. They're very bitter. Uh, Am I yeah. bitter? I'm not bitter. No, he's not bitter, no. Timothy Jones. Oh, a little bit. The only criminal here is the bloated fat man, James Whale, indulging in hate speech. You're not fat. I'm not... The rest was true. Yeah. But the fat <laughs> the, bit, no. The rest he just looks me. like fat, but yeah. he's not actually. Yeah. It's one of those thin blokes that looks fat. It's just Nick one Jones. Things. I can't believe I'm agreeing with James Whale, who usually talks shite. But on this occasion... He doesn't work there anymore. On this occasion, he's spot on. All I said was that if you come across the channel, that'd be amazing boat, if you could. Do, no. You pay somebody to come to this country illegally. I don't care. The laws can always be changed. We're being invaded, right? Mm. We're being invaded by people. If they have weapons, they wouldn't be coming anywhere. Well, why have they thrown the papers away? That should immediately be a red flag. Exactly. So. All I'm saying is, come to this country if you want to take part. You see, this is the other thing. Come to this country if you want to 
be, British you know, film. British and you want to indulge in our culture, don't come here Carry on to film. bring some other kind of views because you won't enjoy it. So why would you go to a country where they have different religions and different views? I wouldn't do yeah. it. Why would you want to do that? But if you want to come to this country, I'm, I'm under medical care, as you probably know, at the moment, and I, you can all be as rude about that not, as not you like. Not psychiatric care. No, 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 just uh, no. they're keeping me alive, and lots of people get in touch. When's that cancer going to kick in and get rid of you? Which I think is quite funny, because they're watching and they're listening. But I'm going to take action if people actually... Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I am. You'll if, be if very people, busy, though. If, Twitter, no, Twitter's a cesspool. Two. One or two. Yeah, I, yeah. I quite like it. X. I call it X. X. Well, that's Nobody X. calls it X. I call it X. Nobody calls but the it whole X. Point, the whole point of this is... That people can't just come to another country, go to another country, without having uh, a reason or, or coming in. Uh, we know who you are. We know mm. what your history is. But do you is, think James Cleverley's plan, the Rwanda plan, will work? The only plan, no, I don't. The only won't. plan that will work mm. is that we put our navy in the channel and we defend our borders. Now, if you're coming over, you're coming over without any weaponry and fine. Mm. But you're not coming into the country. We're going to turn you back. Because otherwise, we will be completely swamped. We don't we have enough are. doctors and so nurses. So why are the Conservatives wasting time on the Rwanda plan I when it's never going to work? They're using it to flannel, aren't they, Phil? They're just sort of... They're just hoping we'll be distracted. Not, they know it's not going to really the people work. Yeah. Who are coming Do you know we've sent more boats. foreign ministers yeah. to Rwanda yeah. than anyone else? Yeah, we've three, given them. Three of them. Hundreds mm. of millions of our pounds to do nothing. And there's only going to be about 400 places. Why, so I don't get it, really. Why I, mean, I should yeah. be racist for this? I'm uh, not also what, interested in what. Also, race we have to take are. people from Rwanda. What happened to, to the here? barge as well? There's only one of them, and I think there's about 30 people on it. You That's know, it. There's a lovely hair salon. There's but no should, waiting on, on, because there's only. I know. Yeah, we. There's great wi fi. This is a serious problem. Legionnaires Leading disease. with this. No, if we keep allowing people to come to this country with no papers, we don't know what they're doing, welcome them in and say, please come in, then we are going to find life very difficult mm -hmm. because the people in this country, the majority of people, don't want to be taken advantage of because that is what's happening. And people talk about...